Your, your name is Admiral Ass Eater? Yes, that is me. <laughs> Dedicated to your cause. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. And so. There's an ad, hold up. Yeah, same. 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 All sorts of issues here. Mm -hmm. Capitalism mm -hmm. is a lie. All right. I can see. Excellent. There it is. <laughs> I can. I can. <laughs> so, what? for purposes of stream, this is a ongoing campaign that was previously in person, but due to pandemic shenanigans, you're online. Can't. I feel like. A uh, recap will be given by players every session to keep people on track. What's going on? This recap provides inspiration to the players. Is anyone else hearing an echo? Uh, mute the stream. Yeah, mute the stream. Correct. Oh, mute the stream. Okay. Alrighty. Now that for this recap, we could also get a an overarching story recap. That'd be helpful for the stream's purposes. I appreciate it. Otherwise, Otherwise, who would like to give the recap for inspiration? If we want to do a full read rundown, I guess I can do that pretty quickly. That's all right. Except for the whole four weeks that I missed, but those weren't important because I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. So our adventure Damn. began approximately... Two weeks ago at this point. <laughs> oh, two weeks. <laughs> so many people have died in those two weeks. Yeah. God, that's anyway. perspective. So, a, f a few noble souls just wanted to put together to, to help their local town with their harvest festival. Till they found out some mites were. Port <laughs> wow. Holy shit. It has. I was, I was right on the money. Let's yeah. go. So, yeah. Got him. So, the mites were causing trouble in our harvest festival, so we're like, okay, we gotta go mess them up. Spoiler alert, everyone involved perished from that point. Lovely. But eventually, before before their inevitable denies, they, they tracked this vain nonsense down to a Kenku lady in a swamp who had caused the blight upon the town. They slayed the villain and found out it was part of a much larger conspiracy. At this time, they also met a bard and a cleric. I meant only mentioned these two specifically because one of them lives. Fast forward. Wait, well, well nope. We're, we're already at the part that I missed for four weeks. Anyone want to tag in real fast? What happened after we killed Kreeza? We just kind of bulled around in town, kind of lost. Uh, there was a lot of fey shenanigans. We had to fight one of our own party members a few times. Oh, yeah. Um, and then there was, like, a bunch of visions that we had that involved some uh, devils or demons. Uh, we had to protect slash storm a house, which went well, other than the one missing child. But it went well. All right, no that, that child that went missing, uh, Henry was the name. That'll be important later. Spoiler alert, they die too. So, eventually the shenanigans end with... Uh, so, so uh, the party finally got a lead. They have to go to Rencrest Keep to uh, pursue their enemy or whatever. A changeling named Whisper, the one responsible Whisper. for the uh, domination effects that had been plaguing the party and presumably a large part of the conspiracy to do something. As far as we understand right now, the conspiracy is just to make life suck for everyone who isn't a fae. So we're real on top of the mystery solving bit. We arrived at Rencrest Keep, and this is why I didn't name any of the characters thus far. Because they basically <laughs> all die horrifically to hellhounds. But One specifically got his ass eaten by a hellhound. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the, the, the great bard mentioned earlier told the world to bite his shiny golden ass and thus died. Mm -hmm. But it was okay. A few members survived, met some goblins and a robot, explored the mansion, fought a ghost of Lord Rencrest 
that was that was important. That name the might ghost be uh, made the sorcerer very very old. Yeah, that was not a great time. It, it, it's okay. He, he, he didn't remain in the party long enough for his old age to matter, so he he basically died. Any event, they found a chain devil holding hostage the soul of Lord Rencrest. Then they attempted to bargain to free the soul so they could put him to rest so we they didn't have to fight that boss again. And uh, one of the brave remaining members of the party, the tiefling Calvin, decided to bravely offer their own soul in return. Little did they know, we had a soul in a bottle on hand we totally could have used. Unfortunate, really. <laughs> but the deal was struck. <laughs> and so the tiefling set out to kill a green dragon to save their soul. Spoiler alert, they die before they get there. <laughs> <laughs> but though the party set forth. The, the cleric, Asimar Renea, the only survivor of the original party attempting to keep this rag tag band of other people together to keep the quest alive. And then they fought some dryads, and all the, the goblins and the robot left after that. It was good. So that wasn't person. fantastic. Before finally, R R Renea and whoever was still alive at that point arrived in Arbor Glen. We're, we're getting close to the present, so I'm being more specific. Where they met the obnoxious toddler Ignatius and his rowdy companions. One of them dies and the other one leaves, so they get to be unnamed as well. <laughs> they attempted to save Arbaglen from a similar fate as their hometown. They chased a hag to her lair, only to find out that the hag had tricked them into stealing their horse and had went back to Arbaglen to burn it to the ground. Remember Calvin? Yeah, they died here. That was unfortunate. Wait, did we ever find the children that were kidnapped during all this? No. 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 <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Lovely, okay. Nope. So we're going to go, go over that. At this point, we famously split the party clean in two. Calvin and Renea boldly going forth back to Arbor Glen to return the lost child Henry that they found. Meanwhile, Ignatius and the boys went to a lumber mill tr trying to track some tracks. They were actually on the wrong track, by the way. But they kind of had a fight in the lumber mill that... Not actually much came of that, other than the fact that the party was split up. Eventually, everyone made it back to Abaglen. The hag was defeated, her hob army was defeated, and the wi the changeling Whisper was also defeated after killing Calvin. One round. Just one more round, they would have been fine. Ah, very dead. Renea was very upset about that. That, that was not a good time. You didn't mention that the was two like were actually two lovers, so... Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, that was they, they, they got it on. They were <laughs> yes. they were deeply romantically involved, and now one of them is um very involved in a demonic pact of eternal servitude. Good times. In any event, as you do, we weren't supposed to kill the changeling. We kind of wanted to keep them for questioning, or at least our um lawful lawful uh, ranger <laughs> wanted to keep them alive, and so they were very mad when our uh, monk killed them. And so we had to take our monk to stand trial in the local town Sonata. <laughs> the monk boldly attempted to escape from the trial and was shot to death. After attempting to murder the judge. Right, after <laughs> attempting to murder the judge. Let's not forget that. <laughs> Let's, uh... Yeah. Uh, and our ranger decided to stay behind, and uh, the, the the poor gremlin child Ignatius had to go back to the party and just let them know, yeah, monk's dead, ranger's leaving, bye. <laughs> but that's okay, because in re exchange, we got Hingle McCringleberry, the gnome artificer, and his dog, Mac. Lil Bite, am I saying that right? Little Bite? Yeah. or Okay, Lil, Lil Bite, the mouse? Folk, Blood Hunter, uh, Single, Mac, little, little bites there, little mouth, very, very adorable, whatever. Turns into a rat monster sometime, no big deal. Around this time, the mysterious gunslinger, John, last name, uh, do, do they have a last name? Do we know that? 
I'm not thought that. up of anything, so... All right, John. John, the Hexblade uh, Warlock, who uses his Warlock powers to shoot a gun, also arrived at that time. They only have one eye and one arm. They're um very handy, as it were. They joined uh, up at that point. And... Oh, also, that was around the time... Wow. We really brought in a lot of characters all at once, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, so remember when I said Renea was still alive? That was, that's like half true. Uh, they were horrifically traumatized by the death of all of their friends to the point they can't use their powers anymore. They're still here, though, and uh, being babysat by their older brother. Uh, their name is, wait, well, no, I got this. I, I remember. Oh. It, it, it's escaped me, but I totally, Daniel. Daniel, there we go, Daniel. You can tell I, they're related because I... they're both anime characters. <laughs> The we weave have gene runs deep in that family. We have a myriad of portraits, by the way. Have fun. <laughs> yes. So, Daniel's a warlock of something. I think he has a book. My, oh, right. Their pact is with the Celestial Ikazalean, which don't even ask me to spell that one. I don't want to try. And apparently, they, they occasionally give us plot hooks because we're stupid. So... <laughs> Which brings us back... Oh, come on. I, I, I can get this one. Armila. Armella. No Say what? Armella. 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 Okay. The the magma dwarf paladin who apparently dragged Daniel here at the same time. They have lots of hit points and are good at smiting things. We're very proud of them. And <laughs> keeping you alive. Yes. Yep. Thank you again. <laughs> That has certainly happened. In the two sessions they've been here, they've already saved a life. Which is more than some of our party members can say. Look at you, riding horse number one. <laughs> <laughs> so, this newly assembled party, uh, just barely holding on to various clues from past dead party members, have recently decided their next objective. <laughs> A gith fortress on the other side of a, a mountain range. Did we have a name for that mountain range? It is the Weirm Smoke Mountains. Right. The, the those mountains. <laughs> I'm great with names, folks. <laughs> and we had decided we shall go under the mountain through some goblin caves. But before we could do that, we were, we were traveling, and we found this half-dead, half lane ranger. And, well, uh, that, that's where we are now, folks. In the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. This was first watch. I, Armella had just barely healed the poor lass up to her full hit points. Hmm. Indeed, Good. indeed. And you have received your inspiration. Neat. Already had one. Does anyone want me to pass it to him? Sure, dude. All right, congratulations. You're inspired, John. Wonderful. All Probably right. used to shoot something, probably. The halfling would open her eyes, flickering uh, in between just complete tiredness and being woken through the healing magic that's kind of restoring her vigor. <sighs> Thank you. Of course. Uh, you still after me? She'll suddenly open her eyes wide and try to grip it. A weapon, but there's nothing there. What's been chasing you? Is it goblins? Hi, goblins. These wigwams are all throughout these mountains. I got an 11 perception to see if there's any goblins chasing. As your molten eyes gaze out into the darkness, there does not seem to be anything out there. I think you're safe. Uh, why don't you come into our little... Uh, Miniature fortress over here. I'll help oh. you across this uh, wee trench if you need. Should be safer. I appreciate that. Uh, well, thank Aristotle, I found you. Of course. Here, let's move you along. Uh, you have much good of a jumper. I, I can jump, I. Alright, I'll see you across then. Alright, jumping into the camp. Mac, who was obviously awake at this time, would see this and can react accordingly. Uh, he says bark. bark. I don't pay no attention to that one. I missed your uh, soundboard for Mac, though. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's 
I haven't found a good. I haven't found a good way to do it, or in this setup. Some point in the near future, we will have it. Can I want to do something? Can, tell me if you guys can hear this. Mark. Yes. Yes. Got it. <laughs> you got that. Alrighty. There it is. Excellent. She kind of shakes well, her head as you get her across the other end, uh, somewhat stumbling, but still maintaining her balance. You think at this point it's more of exhaustion and less physical trauma. I, I, please rest yourself. Uh, we should be safe here. Yeah. Uh, the lads appear to be uh, sleeping themselves still. I'll just uh, keep on the watch. But I, please, I it, lay yourself. She kind of leans up against the edge of the, the barricade here. <gasps> what what is uh the fallen Neldis crest been making my way there but they haven't responded to any of my letters and or send me I... either whole area has been under attack by fey children kidnapped so i hear uh apparently there's a whole lot of nonsense uh but that's actually what we're uh, trying to take care of right now we are trying to get to the source of it, so we're heading west. It's the same at west. The whole uh, Stars Glen. I don't, I don't know, but uh, when, when I joined up, uh, people don't seem themselves. At least according to my friend, the one who, who inducted me into the ceremony. I don't. I don't know. Um, something's wrong there. The, the ground itself—it's—it's it's like it's melting, sapping the the water from the land. In other parts, it's like it's turning into a swamp. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really see Fey in that, but I mean, the elves have done this before. So, and I don't know, but if, if it's out east too, um, I, I'm not. I was sent, sent. Elders Christ to get help, but I, mean, I guess you're it. Um, I'm afraid so. We are just barely on the tail end of a, a whole town being attacked by these fake Arbergelen. They're that bold. Aye, there were many deaths. Children taken, as I understand. She kind of rubs her temple. But that it was stopped. Nah, no, uh, it was it was a, a, t a terrible uh, incident um apparently a few of the more important uh fey opponents we've been facing did fall there but uh, i don't think this is over yet and uh, from what i've gathered from my companions and from others we talked to apparently uh, they weren't even the worst of it oh, this is getting better and better What about Mary, a star song? And the people of Elder's uh, Crest, are, are they safe? I wouldn't know. Uh, myself, I haven't been personally down that way. All I, Didn't you all pass through Elder's Crest there. on the way here? Not me. Um, that would be some of the other companions. Yes. Yes. Well, um... I think I need some rest. Uh, can talk about this more in the morning. Of course, I'm sure my companions will probably be a bit more used than I. Appreciate it, and be careful. The skulker is all about to jump on you without a moment's notice. I'll keep a lookout. She curls up, just instantly falling asleep. Sweet lass. Hope nothing wakes her. 
and I'll resume my watch. Alright. Your watch goes by uneventfully, other than what has already occurred. Second watch, who Second. do you wake up? It's been a while. Who did we agree to wake up? That was just, I mean, that would have been two hours ago in-game. But it's been a week out of character. I have no recollection of the order we decided. Me neither. It was either Little Bite, Mac, or... Well, Mac's the, there for uh, all siblings. And not Mac, Hingle. Yeah, I'll, I'll just wake up Hingle. That's who I was thinking anyway. And he's right next to me. Alright. Uh, with a gentle shake, she'll try to wake the gnome. How's your hair blue? Ah, uh, good morning. Uh, okay. I, not quite morning yet. Uh, who, who the fuck is that? Uh, it's uh, an injured uh, ranger, I think. She was attacked by goblins. Uh, I healed her up. Uh, she t told me a bit about her, that she's been trying to get the Elder's Crest, um, but I, I felt her in that there probably wouldn't be much help there. Anyway, she was uh, badly injured and exhausted, so I healed her up and let her rest here. All right, uh, good on you. I'll take uh, over for the next few hours. That's good, because I'm uh, a bit tired myself. Uh, have a good watch. Thank you. All right. Um, I'm going to get JC set up. Feel free to RP all watches. There's no encounters thus far, so when you guys are done with all watches, feel free to RP with each other. And when I come back, uh, Maxi will wake up. I need to right. hook up my desktop and get that loaded for JC. Got it. So, a peaceful night in a sage game? Heresy. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> well, I think this was the encounter for the night. Yeah. It was peaceful, though. It was peaceful. Okay. So, we just want to skip through all of the watches, since out of character we kind of know everything goes fine. Eh, right. there'll be a little bit when the watch switches to Renee and Daniel if they're taking last watch. Well, um, okay, so I, I can have Ignatius well, complain a bit about waking up, but... Uh... Only Hingle would realistically know that John can't hear too well. Yeah, so I, I would so, never pick John to be on watch. But the rest of you would probably still see that as a perfect option. I guess option. if Renee and... One, and Daniel are going to go last, and I'll wake up Iggy. Lovely. Wake up, kid. Your turn. Oh, what? Oh, right. Watches. Yeah. Uh, sure don't thing. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's that? Uh, it's, a, it's a ranger. Uh, she was attacked by goblins or something. I don't know, but she's staying with us for now. Uh, oh. How, how, how long have they, they... They weren't here when we went to sleep, right? I didn't just miss that. Uh, they came here during our Miller's watch. Oh. Yeah. yeah. They don't look that injured to me. I think she uh, healed her or something. I don't know. She can heal? Huh. Weird. Maybe I should pay attention to what everyone around here can do more often. Maybe. Or not. Yeah, I would I'm definitely... Like... not, but let's keep uh, track of... You're a grown man, you can make your own decisions. Yeah. Yeah, grown man, that's that's correct. Exactly what Indeed, I Indeed, and I have no reason to believe otherwise. Well, have fun on your watch. And I'm oh, gonna go to sleep. Oh so fucking meta. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay. That's me. In the woods. Watching out into the darkness. Making sure nothing comes to kill us. No pressure. No <laughs> pressure. Poor 12 year old. <laughs> how, how long do I. You know what? I, I, I've been at this for a little while now. I'm, I'm going to wake up John. He, he's got this. So, as you start to get down from your watch, you can hear Renea tossing and turning in her sleep. No, no. Stop. Please. Don't. Oh, no. oh wow. That, that sure is happening. And she uh, wakes up sitting upright with a gasp and doesn't start screaming, but nearly does. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, hey, Renea, it's your watch. Daniel wakes up next to her. 
Rin, Rin, you all right? I, I just... I guess you guys can take your watch together. I guess that counts. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Thanks, Ignatius. All right. Yep. Uh, happy to contribute. Just a nightmare, Rin. And as you go back to sleep, you can hear Renea quietly crying. As they go take their watch. Good times. So much trauma in one small person. It's a miracle it fits in there. <laughs> this bad boy can hold so much fucking trauma. In <laughs> and then I guess their watch passes uneventfully and everyone else starts to wake up. Armella wakes up pretty early. Just after the sun's starting to come up. Sits up and stretches a bit. Uh, checks over at the half left. See, she's still soundly asleep. I, we didn't Who get is our that, by cut. the way? Uh, I didn't catch her name, but uh, the traveler that was attacked by uh, goblins. Apparently she's got similar goals to us, though. Oh, I didn't get that memo. What's she doing out here? She was traveling to uh, Elder's Crest to try to get assistance, um, but I felt that that probably wouldn't be a good place to find any. Yeah, I, w I was in Elder's Crest pretty recently. The entire populace seemed pretty harmless and generally useless. All right, that'll do it. Eh, there's that one ranger there. Juniper, I think her name is, or... Some kind of berry. It be a whole group, especially a town that big. That's completely useless in a fight. I don't know. I don't know. You'd be surprised. Renee is probably one of the most capable fighters in our town. She is? Yeah, she saved our entire town from a horde of zombies. She charged them with nothing more than a dagger and stood in between me and a zombie. And then this called down the light wait, of the wait, heavens. Wait, 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 wait. This little one with a knife. She uh, didn't have any magic at that point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could beat Renee in a knife fight. And just between you, me, everyone with ears and eyes, I'm like four feet tall. Hey, size matters not in your lethality. Well, if we're being uh, honest... It did to my wife... Charging the zombie with a knife probably wasn't the smartest thing, but Daniel just tripped and he went down, and I didn't know what else to do. John will uh, once again pat, <laughs> pat, angle on the shoulder at the mention of his wife. Thank you, John. Kingle, I hate to tell you this, but you might have issues. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll do. My friend, I think you're looking at a whole group of people with issues. Sure. Mac doesn't seem to have any issues. I'm not actually sure Mac can... Okay. Well. It was still made by Hingle. And Hingle, your stuff's great. But it has a reputation. Wait, it has a reputation of what? Or maybe that's just my bias. Who knows? That that that's kind of ominous. <laughs> hey, someday get yourself down to a good old aether storm, and you'll see what I mean. I, I kind of like being here if that in Kalbesh, if that's all the same to you. I can respect that. Yeah, so... Who's, whoa, whoa, whoa. The, who's the new small one? We didn't, we didn't get a name, right? No. I don't Just, think we did, no. Okay. Just a halfling heading to Elder's Crest, and who will likely be disappointed once they get there. Yes. Perhaps we could convince her to 
stay with us for a bit. Maybe we could use our skills. I think we well, can use all the help we could get, honestly. Yeah, we are going up against uh, a lot of goblins. Could use the extra woman power. Do we well have any weapons on them? I would offer to lend them mine, but it's kind of cursed. Hello, can you hear JC? Is that kind of. I can yeah, hear him from your mic, yes. Systematic. All right, we're good. We're golden. So, we're so at this point in time. Stretch. We're opening our eyes and quickly uh, jolting up for realizing. Hey you! You're now. finally awake. <laughs> hey you! You're finally awake. You're trying to cross the border. Walked right into that imperial ambush, same as us. And that tafe over there. Damn you, Stormcloaks. <laughs> Empire was nice and lazy until you came along. I could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell by now. <laughs> D&D, but it turns into Skyrim. Yeah. I don't like that we all were able to, like, quote that. I mean, Ulfric's lines were pretty easy, so I had it done that. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> pretty easy. <laughs> Dude has his fucking mouth bind bound. It's pretty easy, just angry glares. <laughs> Verbally. So all kind of rubber tempo. Well, um... Hello. Hey, uh... Morning. Congratulations on still being alive. I, I A lot of people that, aren't that yes. lucky. Um, name's Maxie. I'm uh, from Stag's Glen. He's one of the uh, new recruits there. R recruits? Recruits of what? Uh, the Rangers of Stag's Glen. I joined up recently, uh, Callahan. He, he was a, a teacher, the one who inducted me. Oh. Um, I'm uh, Armella Forgecar. Sorry for interrupting. I get a bit uh, forwarded there. Oh, good. Appreciate the help there, uh, Mila. Of course. So what uh, Amila told me last night, the, the eastern part of the country, at least down south, has been all sorts of hell. They it's have... been a little unpleasant. Okay, more than a little. Yeah, it's been pretty bad. Ren here has been through the worst of it. As Renee just sort of huddles closer to Daniel. Well, we don't have to make a contest out of who's been the most miserable, but congratulations. Uh, she wins, I guess. Well, um, that's the case. I was supposed to go to Elder's Crest and talk with Mary, a star song, and kind of figure out what's going on, see if we can't get some reinforcements. Uh, Yes, a monkey with red eyes gleams in the distance in my grave. <laughs> um, Marius suggested that we go to Stag's Glen and look for information there. Oh, wait, he, he did? When were you going to share that? It was like a week ago. We would have went there first, but... uh. We were talking to one of the brownies in Elder's Crest, and they said that Henry was taken to Arbor Glen. Is that what you call him here? What, what the hell's a brownie? What's it's a, a Henry? small guardian-like fae that lives inside houses. Wait, um, you, wait, you heard this Henry? from a fae? They're protective fae. Protective of what? Each other? They, uh, protect no, the houses them. that they're associated with. Mm. And the inhabitants of the houses. All right. Uh, well, if, if Marius sent you westward, um, I guess I got my reinforcements. Uh, Is that a weak smile? Yep. Okay, we're the reinforcements now. Congratulations, guys. We're uh, helping. We're definitely the cavalry. Shall uh, 
gesture to her mighty red horse, Doric. Which is, we were substantially uh, more cavalry before the goblins. At least 30% more cavalry. I have a, a great yeah. hatred of horses. Yeah, more like shot it three and times. Dogs, but... So you might want to be careful with uh, a pup here, even though he's metal. Which well, is very strange. I've seen a dog made of metal before. It's gonna get weirder. <laughs> Don't worry. I mean, this is a very strange group you found yourself in. I mean, points for self awareness, John. But, uh, the forest <laughs> itself is melting, so. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Forest is melting? Me How does that. Melt? Oh, flammable? It's, um, it be like it, it's weird. It's. Um, what. what... Melbor said uh, it's a, a curse of sorts, and the, the higher tier rangers are. Uh, Arc druids and the like, they're, they're handling up at the Lundgren's hole. But Callahan doesn't trust Melbourne. He, he, he thinks that he's been taken. And the mouse is going to point one direction. The grass is dying. Yeah, the, the grass is dying, the, the moisture in the plants are being removed. Uh, some parts of the land uh, has been turning into a swamp, so an increase in moisture. But, uh,. Stags Glen, the, the rangers there don't really know what's going on. Callahan has an idea. Um, he thinks it was this this elf that came by. Uh, he spoke with Melbourne. Um, so Raya was her name, I think. Renea gasps out loud. Have you heard it before? <sighs> yeah, from uh, Ezekiel. Or. No, 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 no. It was from uh, Juniper, the ranger in Elder's Crest. She said that uh, the person responsible for causing all the crop rot, Frieza or Kreeza or something, we killed her, but Juniper said she overheard her talking about her boss, Saraye, an elf. Oh. Um, Raya, you this elf uh, that kind of confirms what Callahan's suspicions were. Uh, he, he said he saw her in something, uh, some form of magic on Melbor. Or maybe it was a message. He, he's not a, a caster, so he's not uh, versed in the arcane, but uh, as soon as he saw that, he's been suspicious of a sense and suspicious of Melbor. As he's put us on lockdown now, none of the rangers, except for those approved by him, can go north. The roads are watched by these strange uh, rangers of wood. Like totem warriors? Uh, yes. Uh, they, they look like the Stag's Glen rangers uh, with the antlered helms, but made entirely of wood, of a uh, white pine. They attacked Elder's Crest too, about a week ago. I guess. Sounds like it. Well, as as interesting as this information is, I don't know if it changes our game plan. We're still heading towards that Gith Fortress, right? Lundgren's hold? That's Yeah, that one. Well, that's your goal. It's going to be difficult getting past Melbo and the other rangers. I don't know how many of them can be trusted other than Callahan. Oh... Well, Callahan's a start, right? Hi. Is there any way we go around them? The entire forest is watched from my understanding. Go through. We can try to sneak our way through. I don't Guys, think that would be very much of an option. I'm not much for sneaking around. I mean, neither. Never been in a strong suit. Decent enough, but, uh... Preferable and not won't last long with some of our weapons. Okay. So yeah, I can turn some people invisible, but that won't do anything to stop the sound. What? You can turn people invisible? Yeah. That's right here in this book. He opens his book and leaves through it and points to a spell. Written in Celestial, of course, but. You can read Celestial. That book is awful convenient. You know, now that I think about it, I can also turn people invisible. 
Is anyone else hiding the ability to turn people invisible? Hingle, how the hell do you turn things invisible? I made a, I made a device a few years ago. It projects like a hologram over you, and it makes it look like you're the surroundings, and it makes you look like invisible. Pretty cool. What in Torag's name is a hologram? What? What's a projection? What in the hell? Uh. <laughs> little bite climbs atop the dog and then shrinks, turns into a mouse. You and both should. An actual mouse. Yeah. You both should really make your way to a uh, to Aether Storm someday. You'll see some crazy shit. Aether Storm is a wild place. I've seen enough crazy. Thanks. Also, once we went at it. While well, 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 we're just double checking, anyone else capable of just turning into a tiny mouse? Nope, not me. Wait, I don't why believe are we so. About mice now. Uh, because little bite seemed to have just gotten really tiny and climbed on Mac. Wait, and you what? know, I I didn't assume anyone else would have that ability, but you know, I didn't think anyone else would be able to turn people invisible. But oh, here here we are. So, you know, th I thought I'd check. Okay, so. Okay, What's the plan the now? They can do that. They're druids, so that makes sense. Are we still heading into the cave of goblins, or are we? That's the way I came uh, through, but it's uh, well, filled with goblins, so you know. Okay. Well, it's about to be filled with dead goblins, so. So. There. Are we ready to go? I am. Hey, Doric, Heather. Daniel will uh, start casting Mold Earth to collapse the walls into the trench. Pretty good. I will get on the back of Mac. I will once again preemptively summon my rifle into, into its sheath, its holster, whatever you want to call that. At that size. All right. As the party begins to pack up camp, while gathering your things, your weapons, your supplies, Maxi kind of stands there, brushing herself off. Uh, I, I can show you a way to the the waterfall cave. Um, there's an elf there. She's quite friendly though, so don't worry about it. She watches the pass. Be careful and extra cautious as we are in Wyvern territory as well as Goblin. Joy. You know, out of curiosity, preemptively, do goblins and wyverns get along? In so much as that they are tasty to a wyvern. Good to know. I'm going to abuse that fact later. Right, um... Well, it's just, uh, this way up the mountain pass. Shouldn't be too far. I can, uh, help you out if you need any climbing or the like. Uh, quite first in the mountains here. I'm a ranger! <laughs> Uh, yeah, lead oh. the way, I guess. By They're means. right behind you. All right. Do the world map. Do we uh, encounter in fear yet, or no? Yet, no. Should we uh, figure out who's riding what horse? Yes. Right. So me and Little Bite are on Mac. Well, a little bites perhaps. in a mouse. You can actually fit the halfling on there too. Yeah, that's convenient. But can we fit? Uh, I'll, I'll still have to walk, probably. Yeah. yeah. Can we fit Ignatius and Renea on Doric? I imagine our Mila is going to be on Doric. Well, and our Mila too. Can we fit those three? If we got into a 
chase, there would be very difficult encounters for everyone to stay on. Yeah. I'll just walk. It'll slow us down, but... Oh, going a little slow is better than accumulating concussions by falling off. Yeah, that's not the active way I'd like to die. Uh, good marching order, you guys? Yeah. yeah. All right. or, the, I should probably be in the front so that the, uh, the ranger can lead. Yeah, you are. Oh, okay. We're going right. I'll be behind them. Yeah, sure. Put John ahead of me. There we go. All right. Excellent. Party. Marching order achieved. Woo! Da, 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 da. Right, Ranger, you have guide. You also have ignoring of difficult terrain due to your favorite terrains. So let's see here. Slowest speed in the party is your speed's thirty feet, right, John? Yes. Alright. Slow, medium, a fast pace. Since we have a ranger, I mean, what do we think? Well, can't we all go at a slow pace and John goes at a fast pace? Seems a little mean. <laughs> <laughs> We've been meaner. Is that a legitimate thing we can do? I don't have the best... Your speed like, will be limited to the fastest speed that the slowest person can go. So if you guys want to go at a slow pace... If I constantly it's sprint, it's but 60. But... You're going to be probably getting exhausted if you guys are doing that. Yeah. We should probably just go at a medium pace. Yes. Pace. Let's not break John's knees yet. Pretty good. I don't like the yet. No one likes the yet. Traveling up the mountain pass along the river's uh, northern half. Travel for four hours before we have a guaranteed encounter. Ooh. Dun dun dun. Ooh, story things! I need to change maps because I'm just going to put you on the northern side. Last time we had a guaranteed encounter, uh, Sir Cord drowned. Almost. <laughs> kind of. Oh, we have two oh no. And it's another. It <laughs> well, I mean, we knew that we were next to a river. Everyone, get your backups ready. <laughs> Everybody, backups set ready. Mine is this not... is a guaranteed encounter. I repeat, this is a guaranteed, guaranteed encounter. encounter. <laughs> we are at yellow alert. I repeat, yellow Defcon alert. three. Defcon three. Do not break any glass yet, but be on standby with that hammer. Be advised, if you fail your charisma saves, you will perish. <laughs> in, a party of, in a party of warlocks, I'd like to see us try. Oh, the yeah. artificer might have some trouble. <laughs> yeah, that's literally, we're, we're, we're warlocks, a paladin, and yeah. We yeah. Gucci. Yeah. Stuff I need. Unfortunately, I did not make my cloak of the manta ray today. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you make? Um, so basically, every day I make a repeating shot for my revolver opus. I make enhanced defense for my armor, and I have a wand of secrets. Ah. If we ever you need to, I have an alchemy jug, a bag of holding, and a cloak of the manta ray that I can make after a long rest. But I'd have to replace one of my stuffs. You don't even need to remake those every day. Yeah, I do. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you make them once and they last until you make a new one to replace them or you die. Um, when you finish a long rest... Are you Fruition's Bane in an item indefinitely, but when you... Oh, shit. Indefinitely? That's pretty swell. What the? F so can you so can you just make us all bang the holding? 
Well, we'd have to have bags. You can only make, what, three at a time? I can make three after a long rest. I was not aware that I could keep doing that. Uh, Next long rest, I will definitely make some stuff. I think it's capped at three total. Um, Like, you don't have to keep remaking it, but if you make a fourth one, the first one you made loses its power. You could try to exceed your maximum number of infusions. Wait, but is that infused? It's probably... Yeah, I can have up to three at this level. And I'm using that for better armor and gun with infinite ammo and unwanted secrets. just made this and I don't find it. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Well, you were just blind. Don't mind me. Well, it's nice to have a peaceful walk through the forest for once. All right. Why did you say that? Why did you say that? Checks. Perception checks. Perception checks. <laughs> me that eight that's a 17 for me oh i need to pull up my character <laughs> sheet for mac first dice is daniel then renea then the two are for minerva let me well daniel sucked everyone else did good and minerva rolled two 16s uh i one sec while i get the stats from mac Uh, okay, so 17 for both me and Mac. 19 for the familiar. And Ignatius 17 with the spicy for nine. Making jokes. I see all this. My grand whole six over here. Good, very good. Da da. Trying to find this thing. It's where I just had you. Can't find you. Can it be a friendly water monster instead of the murderous kind? No, it has to be murderous. <laughs> There's a lot of you. Goodbye, riding horse number two. It was good knowing you. I already placed the enemies. I was a bigger fan of riding horse number one. I just need to get the NPC. He's here. I can't find their token. I don't know. It's more than this one. that well. Impossible. Perhaps the archives are incomplete. Oh, I think I know. If it's not in the archives, it doesn't exist. The archives must be incomplete. I'll put it in a freaking folder. Ah, yep. I almost found it. I'm almost there. Oh, da, da, da. There it is. All right. to redact her name real quick, and then we can place her there, there we go, we're good, everything's fine, it's set up. So, moving ahead, you sneak your way through, 
guys will hate me. You didn't do oh, an R. So, you beat an 11. You notice up ahead. Goblins shoo and goblins fight. Goblins smash and goblins fight. Hey, no! We're not singing. We're trying to be stealthy here. Come on, Fred. What? <laughs> I mean, it's our thing. We sing and we dance and we stab and we kill because we're goblins and that's how we do. Really? I just had to stop that. This is why we can't have those things, Fred. <laughs> guys, I would be if you double why, are, why are the goblins the comic relief? <laughs> you guys would see a group of goblins moving forward. Uh, in their form, a woman who is currently hog tied to a pole and unconscious is held between these two and this is can we get a grid yeah i'll give you guys a grid one second I'm wait which one's fucking fred. fred we have to kill fred i'm yes, gonna kill fred specifically which one's fred he's getting shot cool. okay i can't see it it's so little yeah make that bigger tell me when that's a uh grid width line width can't read from that's there. pretty good Good line width. One down. Two. That's better. Now I can see their grid. I have it uh extending displays on a monitor that's further away in your PC, so. Mm. Alright. You would also see kinda chilling in the back, just face palming the entire way to goblin. Mm. <sighs> Listen! I cannot let go, because I'm a goblin and we sing. I swear <laughs> to Lamash you, I will shoot you if you sing one more song. Sounds like a challenge. <laughs> Sounds like a challenge. <laughs> well, I don't notice a challenge. Um, so Renee will doesn't. try and whisper quietly. Will that be a stealth roll to whisper quietly? Yep. Eighteen. Nice. Uh, guys, there are goblins up ahead carrying an unconscious woman with them. Like thirty feet. Weapon uh, drawn. Should we attack? Well, you know, there are humans in front of us. They're not humans in front of us. No one goes here. I I, I don't see them. Where are they? As the little mouse jumps forward, climbing upon that, making an athletics check. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a firm John probably didn't hear Renea. He's 15 feet away. Little mouse, can you slide down? Mouse goes, jump! Falls down. Hey, did you hear something? No? Go on here. I will stab you in your sleep if you don't be quiet. Whoa, man, I didn't even know you were... Whoa. That's harsh. You're harsh in my mellow, man. Should we surprise them? We have the upper hand. Uh, yeah, yeah, might as well. Can well, we kill the goblins here? They can't kill us. The little mouse scuttles up the rock cliff. Whoa! That's a mouse! Hey, catch it! But, uh, but Boom! Would like that. Now Boom doesn't like mice, they like rats. Is that a rat? No, it's a mouse. See, I told you it was a mouse! Whoa! That's a one crazy mouse! Good job. Ignatius, now it is not the time to debate semantics. Right, right. We we should probably start killing them now, huh? Yeah. Wait, Sorry. Did we actually see them yet, or uh, are they still? All right. Everyone, roll me initiative because okay, cool. as an action, little bike just runs up and shifts from mouse form and turns into a were rat. So as little bike was, I was running gonna up, try and take a pot shot. Uh, Daniel and Renee would be hopping off their horse. Great. Fuck. I want to stop using dice roller. It's cursed for me. 
Dude, I've had like some pretty shitty luck with uh, dice bots. Yesterday, I was like, I was playing D&D &D with another group and I got like possessed by Orcus for a brief period of time. So the cleric cast uh, protection from evil and good on me, which allowed me to make a save at advantage. And I, I rolled two ones. <laughs> it was not a good time. That's a bit of an oof. Why are our initiative rolls so bad? I'm just showing you guys what I'm rolling. Just because if I don't, I don't have to do this. Find the chat window here. So. Mm. Which I might do. But uh, for minions, the initiative roll for these guys is automatic. Put the macro so they're already in the initiative list. Or the initiative list. <laughs> Jenny, uh, you guys in there now. So, what is your initiative, Renea? Uh, 20. Daniel? His is 11. Minerva? Uh, 9. 9? Ignatius? Uh, 16. Harley? 4. Hingo also has 4. His dex is higher. John. Us a grand solid five. Excellent. Mac. Uh, Mac goes on my turn. Feel bite. Seven. All right. And secrets. What is your initiative? Eight. All right. So Minerva's secrets. up in the air, and Daniel and Renee would have popped off their horse while little bit was. Bite was climbing up the rock. So what an initiative. All right. Begin with the surprise round for a little bite. Everyone else is not in a surprise round because you guys were still conversing on what you wanted to do while they were doing their thing. I was trying to ask if we could see him yet and then he transformed. Yep. We so, used our surprise round on banter. Little bite, your surprise round. Hard to read. Okay, so Hard to read. Bonus action. Hard to My read. My hands are cold. No. Good. So, Ross bellows from his mouth. Fred, you're gonna bite Fred. Yes. Okay. You're gonna bite Fred. Ah! <laughs> I wanted to kill Fred. We all want to kill Fred. Whoa! This Nas is big now! Hey, we should have to talk about it. No, Fred! Nine damage slamming into Fred. Ah! Hey! That's rude! We don't get a song now! Thank you, Lamarsh, too! You don't get a song now. He was just, he was just an aspiring bard. That'll slam into him. Fourteen damage. Very good. Very good. Uh, the mark. Ah! I always know which direction he is. Stay, uh, stay safe. Very good, very good. Hey, I'm gonna attack you! You know my turn, it's gonna be nice. Uh, that's your free check there, right? No, my free check was already. 
only if he's got it. He's got it. Well, straight roll. Let's see here. Don't be such a scaredy mouse. All right, I got a seven. Oh, that is. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. You're. It's. It's. It's up to you guys. I'm out of here. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. All right, Goblin Archers have gained initiative. <sighs> Fred, I swear to God, I'm not Fred. Well, I didn't think it was gonna be you, Tim. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna drop the stick. Oof. Pew. As a twenty-two to hit for sixteen damage. And we'll rapidly pull out another arrow, pulling back and firing. Pew! 23 to hit for 6. Very good, very good. Ha! Ah, take that, you stupid mouse! I'm still thinking it's a rat. Rats are pretty big, you know? It's got fur It's on clearly a mouse! No! There's more of them! <laughs> Shit! God damn it, Ignatius. <laughs> Boy, I am God! Uh, this archer is gaining initiative and is gonna shoot you twice, so he'll bite. Pew! Oh, I, I, I hit the, uh. There you are. Is it 13 to hit? Ah, oh, shit! I missed! Um. Take this! Pew! Run away! Oh no! Um, can we talk about this? Can we talk about this? Yes. Just realized I haven't changed the combat music. Uh, combat music. Yeah, they're not really worthy of dark discussion. Let's just use this. Darkest? Dungeon's got some good music. Yeah, but they're not epic enough. <laughs> All right, Renea, what would you like to do? Uh, what's the distance to the nearest goblin? Sage, is there any chance you could post that in the dice roller chat? Because I can't. Uh, actually, wait, no, never mind. I'll just open it up on the new tab. Yeah, give me the validation real quick. Yeah, I'm just I'm helping Google. All right. Nearest goblin is 55 feet away from you. Does she have line of sight? Partial cover, but yeah. All right, give me a wisdom save, goblin. Toll the oh, dead. Ha! Ah, I'm not scared of you. That's rats far scarier. Sad day. Um, is Renea currently on the horse or off? Uh, you are mid getting off. Yeah, okay, so she's gonna finish getting off and move away from the horse five feet closer towards Armila. And a quick question. So the Mithril Shield has the Bracer property where you can use reaction to get plus two AC and then it takes a bonus action to reset. Does that hold true for the shield as well, or is that just the bracer? That, that's the shield. The nipple. Yeah, so after I deflect with it, do I need a bonus action to reset it like you do with a bracer? Bucklers? Yeah, buckler. Yes. Okay. Uh, that is it for Renee, unless there's a tree she can stand behind. You're already standing behind the tree. All right, that is good. All right, Fred has gained initiative. Oh, I'm gonna sing the goblin song. You're gonna bleed in day long. I fucked up. It's okay. I'm a goblin. 
I fucked up. It's okay. I'm, I'm a goblin. Uh, he is going to <laughs> rage. <laughs> ah, I'm so angry. <laughs> <laughs> he's a barbarian. Of course, he's a barbarian. Take that threat. Eighteen hit for six. Damn. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is attack. We go to Goblin Slicer number one. Man, I wish we roll high in stealth because we have assassinate. I know, right? Too bad for us! Let's see, he's gonna move up into a flanking position against a little bite. He has a bandage on this attack roll. Stab! Going again for advantage. Alright, so 19 for 16 damage. Reduced to 8 because of BR or uh, resistance. Sixteen would be safe as resistance. All right, he's going to bonus action with his offhand, swing at you again with a dog slicer. Yeah. Twenty-two. Let's see if I roll higher. Nope. So twenty-two for seven. Two after reductions. And since both hit, rending slice activates as you suffer an additional eleven damage. You know, I'm kind of glad that guy's up in the front. Yeah! Die! We're gonna have rat dinner. Ignatius. Okay, well, I really wanted to go help till I saw those damage numbers. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Backline characters. Mm. Okay, um, free item interaction, draw the spather, transform into Iggy. Biggie. And I'll put you over here. There's an elevation difference, so walking's not gonna cut it. Time for my favorite thing. I'm going to cast fly. Mm, excellent. Are you going to t give an an additional person fly? Oh, uh, you, you know what? I'm gonna give Doric fly. <laughs> what the? <laughs> right. Wait a second. <laughs> oh my! It, two for one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I am going to uh, attempt to uh, fly behind that nearest goblin, so such that little bite would have flanking if he Sorry. lives to his next turn. Did you hear that? I did not hear that. So. When you land behind it, Little Bite is going to growl at the jester and say, This one flees. So you leave that one uh, there. Uh, so be it! Okay, then I shall take the remainder of my movement so that I am flanking Fred. I'll provoke from Goblin Boy or two. Ah, oh, jeez, well. this is pretty scary! That's Oh, Fred. Something wrong with him, too. Stabbed! 18 to hit for 6. That will not connect. Excellent. Oh, no! Hey, listen, can we talk about it? There shall be no discussion! Oh. Only the cursing of my enemies! And by that, I mean bonus action, Hexblade's curse on Fred. Oh, man! Now we are friends! <laughs> We're really not! Is it the singing? Well, that's what all the other goblins say. No, we don't! It's just you! Oh, that hurts my feelings, man. I'm gonna go ahead and free check Marshall on the goblin slicer. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Um that is that's a four. That gives you nothing. It is a goblin and has two dog slicers. All right. You know what? More info than I had before. That's my turn. All right. There we go to Maxi. Um, so 
let's see here, I'm just gonna climb up this icon off there. It's not gonna work. She is going to fire off an arrow at Fred. She doesn't have a bow. Crap. Um, she's gonna step up and punch it. Does she not have any weapons? Oh. She doesn't have her equipment on her. Uh, Renea probably would have given her a dagger. Yeah, I asked when you guys were in camp. Oh, I didn't hear it. Well, let's see, you're punching, uh, let's see who your stats are. Okay. Fifteen punches towards the Fred. No! I don't want it! We'll raise his mighty dog slicer high. To deflect Harry. So you see his eyes. No! It's just rude. Well, I have two punches. That one will connect. Slamming into Fred. Dealing three damage. Ow! Not bad for a ranger. What? <laughs> Not bad for a strength score for a ranger. When she's deck space, yeah. Alright. Daniel. Okay. Um. Uh. He will aim for the thing to the south of little... Or how much cover do they have from him? Uh, they have partial cover. Partial cover. Okay. Um, too bad there's friendlies, otherwise I'd totally hit them with an AoE. Uh... Eh, hey, what's stopping you? Do it, but you won't. How much cover is it? Half or three quarters? Uh, half cover. Plus two AC. Okay, he will draw his Eldritch Blast bow and shoot at the goblin just south of Little Bit. Very good. Plus seven to hit. Thirteen on the first one. That will miss. Ha! Can't touch me! And the second arrow, twenty. That will finish. Oh, I lied. <laughs> oh, I lied. Four total of six damage, and he gets knocked back ten feet. Ow! Ow! Can we talk about this? No more words, just slaying. Listen here. I suggest you run. I Intimidation. To the gif in a uh, general. Nine intimidation. Natural twenty. I suggest you run. There's more of us than you. Daniel will then uh, move around to the north. Further away. Uh, Daniel will move around to the north. Uh, two more squares north and two squares east. If I can get off the horse, so you only go 15 feet. So you can end yeah. Your life. But uh, east is this way. So. Yeah. So. Yep. Right there. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh, no, one west actually. All right. Very good. Anything else? No. All right. Minerva. Uh, she's currently high up in the air, so she will fly down and take cover behind the tree. Very good, very good. What is, uh, your dex, John? My dex is 14 plus 2. Excellent. It is your turn. Wonderful. Um... There's that goblin in the, in the very back. Uh, he's he, like half cover. Yeah. yeah. Seeable. Okay. That yeah, works for me. At this point, so. That's yeah, fine. Just... Works for me. I gonna shoot twice. Pretty good. With my gun. Don't suppose anyone's gonna have a boomstick here. Those don't exist, right? I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, what even Those. is a boomstick? 
<laughs> Those don't exist, right? Okay, I try to be fancy. Whatever. Once more with feeling. Okay. First the one. Shot sounds out through the canyon. You would hear birds fleeing and see them flight out of the area. And Goblin Slicer looks up. What was that? I don't know. Wow. Oh. Hey, there's a human there with a stick. Hey, human! How's it going? Waves to you. Why is Goblin so friendly? <laughs> well, he, he's waving. John's just gonna chuckle and uh, shoot the second shot. <laughs> hey, do you want to get the yeah. up? We have extra rope. <laughs> uh, there's a 26 hit. Yes, very much so. Hey, what's that you hold? Why is it pointed at me? Isn't that just a stick? Uh, God! Ah! Damn! Why? You shot my shoulder! How does a stick shoot? M I don't understand. Damn. I love it. Uh, eh, we'll roll for intimidation too. Why not? It keeps it fun. Very good. Eh, 12. So, um, you're fucking scary. Y'all better start running! Yeah. Yeah, bye. What's up with these intimidation rolls? It's garbage. Anything else? <laughs> hey, kid, mine worked. Um. Oh, you know what? So, is that little kind of gap there kind of like difficult terrain or whatever? Or... Let's get, let's get. Let's see. Um, more uh, sorry, uh, west, like towards them. Just a little hard to see the trees and such, like how the terrain is. Yeah, like moving up to there. Yeah, it, you're climbing up a, a cliff face, so you have to climb. Ah, climbing! I will stay here! <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I, you know what? I'll like back up in the ten feet. It's like ten feet west. Sorry, east. Boop, boop. The edge of the cliff now, falling next to the water. The rock goes. Spoosh. This is fine. Very good. <laughs> nothing. Nothing could go wrong with this. Fine. <laughs> All right. From north, on the top cliff faces. Ready? You have gained a mission. So a giant bumbling bugbear decides to run down the mountain face. Oh. <laughs> the war cry? Run down the mountain face. <laughs> Can I get that in writing? And he was up about 15 feet directly north of the goblins. Yeah. Boy. 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 Face. <laughs> Absolute. <laughs> He feels nothing in the face of danger. Were you running down, swinging your spear around your head and yelling a war cry? No. I, I'm sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will shout, release her! And then he will take a stab with his Yari. Very good, very good. Ah! There's more of them! Numbered. 12 to hit. Swinging at the archer? Yeah. That's the archer duty. Duck low. No! Can't touch me! And we'll take wait. another one. Why are you attacking us? We're supposed to be friends! <laughs> oh, wow. You're their friend? Look, they're a bugbear! They're our people! You're, you're just a... I don't even know what you are! She's a human! Friends, there's a bugbear! A bugbear has joined their ranks! More of them? <laughs> right, your second attack swings out with an 11 and ducks low once more. No! Why? Look! Big Bam Tarp's gonna have an issue with you if you keep attacking us! With Polar Master, does it get the reach with the bonus action or no? The yard? 
with pull arm master with the bonus action with the shaft of the spear does it have the reach as well or is it just mainly range like five feet rules as written yes okay yes to what <laughs> It yeah, has, it it has the reach. reach. It has full reach, so <laughs> his would be 15. <laughs> oh, so do you want to be Good. here when attacking it, or do you want to be there when attacking it? Or so, there. yeah, right there is where I was thinking. Good, very good. Anything else? And then we're going to switch grip on the Yari to the back end, and we're going to take another swing with the back end of the pole arm. Is it coming back around? Excellent. Fourteen to hit. No! Ducks out of the way. Barely dodging the attack. Darn. Dice are horrible today. Yeah. Sage, your dice roll is broken. I mean... Yeah. Anything else? That would be it. Very good, very good. Goblin warrior number two. Ah, oh, jeez, this, this mouse is weird. Um... Bye! Bucks. He gets to here. Yeah, nope! Thanks for all the fish! <laughs> Dingle McRingleberry! Alright, uh, can I see the uh, goblin that John shot? Uh, the one. John shot this one here. Um, I would see he has three four scatter just because of the angle of your current cat. Huh. But you uh, can I like get off Mac and move to a place where they wouldn't have cover? I mean, you can get up here or you can get back here. They're, they're going to have cover unless you're next up on here. Whether it's plus five or plus two is it? Yeah, up to the base uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll get off Mac and move to where they only have the plus two cover then. Alright. It's not really good. The edge of the water as well. There you are. Now you have plus two cover for the Goblin Slicer. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Surely I shoot. I shoot with Opus. Surely. As a 15 hit. 15. Misses because of cover. Snaps on the true eggs upon the tree as it goes. I'd do it again. Good. It's a 21 hit. Do it again. 21 will hit. <laughs> yep. hey, that one's stick is smaller. It makes loud yes. noises. Here. Uh, 12 <laughs> points of. Uh, of uh, oh, ballistic damage. It's much more painful, though. <laughs> it's much more painful, though. It's and then the size of the boomstick. It's what you do with this. For my bonus action, I shall shoot again. Excellent. It's not the size of the boomstick. It's the most. Nineteen to hit. Nineteen will hit. Eighteen points of damage. Oh. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> Rot in hell! Shut through the heart, and he's dead! <laughs> Fred, shut the fuck up! <laughs> you know what? Feel, I really feel like we're doing the world of service right now. And then, so that'll end my turn, and then for Max's turn, he's going to run up and use Force Rend on Fred. All right, give me a athletics check to have him climb up here. Uh, okay. 20 total. Ooh, with ease. Boom. Jump. Boom. And then... Bark. <laughs> Bark. And then he will use his force rend. I'm assuming a 9 does not hit. It does not hit. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh... That's my turn. Very good, very good. From there, we go to Amilla. Okay. Briefly reacting to the new experience 
of having fly on him. Doric rears back mightily. Armilla takes the opportunity to do a performance. Uh, raising her axe forward towards the goblins. She yells out mightily, You never stand a chance against, against us! You're going to be crumbled beneath our feet and our hooves! Then Doric charges into the air, going northwest up 15 feet high, uh, ending about um, 5 feet north, 10 feet, or sorry, 5 feet east, 10 feet north of uh, Maxi. So, bam. Yeah, perfect. Then going in a straight line towards the goblin on the top of the three on the left um, will come uh, flying down rapidly, hooves flailing, about to make an attack against that top goblin. As uh, Dork will then land past the goblin. Let me make that attack roll. This one? Archer 2? The, uh, the very top one that's left of the captive. Yes, that's the one. Gotcha. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> Are you not entertained? Was that uh, performance well enough to get the plus one? I'd say yes for me. That's two yeses, I think. I'm amused yeah. at the flying horse. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. That's going to be a plus six to hit for the horse. Damn it, I forgot the D. No. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. Does a 14 hit? A 14 against the archer. No! Duck slow. Ugh. So close. Listen, we got uh, a horse here. We gotta get it. Get over extreme prejudice. <laughs> Armella <laughs> flips around axes. and takes a mighty slash with the axe head of her polearm. That's a plus nine. That won't hit. Misses as um, the bow rises up, deflecting it. Thrusting again, this time with the spear tip. She'll attempt it again. That's a 27. That's a crit. Oh, fuck yeah, it is. Oh, verb. <laughs> um, That's a six or 17 to confirm, including performance verb. bonus. Why don't yes. you type r slash r d20 plus 7? Because I'd had d20 plus 6 already copy pasted. Oh. Critical confirms. Okay, so 17 confirms. Yep. Would you like to smite? Oh my god, I should smite, shouldn't I? I'm at full health! You're in danger! I am in danger! I'm gonna use a first level spell slot to smite. Let's roll the physical damage first. Pretty good. Team physical. 16 radiant. That is. 34, I think. Right there. Yep. Armilla oh, unleashes a mighty attack as she thrusts forward with full force into the oh, goblin, oh. impaling it in the neck as a bright light shines onto the battlefield, bright enough to engulf uh, Iggy and uh, fucking Little Bite in the yellow light for a brief moment. Remind me to make your horse fly more often. Thank you. Not skipping a beat, Armilla then swings with the midsection of her staff to differentiate a bit from uh, our new polearm master. <laughs> Attempting to hit with the blunt side, uh, but failing with an 11 to hit. No, I was not dead, you horse. Ah, uh, you're close enough to death anyway. You're dead. You're dead. That's See. what I meant. Dead. I think I have five feet more movement remaining. Am I within five feet of the goblin? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll stay where I am. Pretty good. Found button. I need to burn up the chat again. Here we go. Here you go to little bite. Wait, your mission is weird. It had a slash in it, so treat it as a zero. Uh, you can go now, but your mission's dead. At Fred? Or, uh, Goblin Archer 2. Gotcha. Archer. Yep. It is... 
Unfortunate. Eldritch twos. Duck slow. No. Come on, come on. <laughs> Twenty-two is indeed a hit. I have one HP. <laughs> this is form frosts over, pierced by the rat's bite, the mouse's bite. This form slain by chilling frost and pierced the bite bite. Meanwhile, Daniel shivers. <laughs> Another archer. That is a hit. Ow! Well, damage. Ah! You're stupid. So close to the other mouse. Up the round, we go to the archers. One is slain. We move from initiative. Goblin Archer one. So you're stupid. And I'm going to cunning action disengage. <laughs> to here. I'm then gonna shoot that horse. With extreme prejudice. With extreme prejudice. I miss. <laughs> it seems. Yeah. He was so prejudiced he assumed the horse was on the ground while I shooting. Right. <laughs> Renea. 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 Um Injured Goblin in between everybody, make me a wisdom save. Alright. Fred is gonna make a wisdom save. I failed! Excellent. He is indeed previously injured, right? He is injured. So till the dead deals 16 necrotic damage. Why? It's a bad bell. Hey, bingo bells. You're gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, bell. She will then uh, move behind the rock next to her brother. And can she, like, crouch down and get full cover behind that rock? Yeah. Yeah, she'll do that. Very good. Excellent. Nice work, Ren. Red. I'm alive! Um, I'm also in danger. <laughs> um, second win. I feel better. Together. Um, so, this is awkward. I'm gonna attack the flanky flank. Flank. Wait, who's he attacking? The one that's flanking you guys. Uh, okay, so Mac is going to use his reaction to do a deflect attack and impose disadvantage on the attack roll. So that's just the first roll, which was a 12. Okay. Yes. Very good, very good. So Mac tugs at his arm. No, puppy, it's not your turn to die! My dog slicer's not even out right now! Get off me. Are you a dog? I can't tell. Bark. Goblin I know not right. what he is, but I know you Flank will stab. die like Flank a dog. Stab. So first roll then, because he has advantage. All right, six slashing damage. Dog slice a bonus action. Is that only the first attack or is it both attacks? It is. What? 
Oh, it's the Agile property from the Lower Kalama... Lower Kalama... Kalamata? I think it's called. That, the equipment guide to make sure. Do 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 dark and skies, equipment guide, here we go. Armor, armor properties, Agile. Against the triggering attack. Cool. So the second one does have this effect. Which means the second one, instead of 10 slashing, is 16 slashing. And I will roll again and see if I crit. I don't, so 16. Which then triggers the rending slice! For another <laughs> 9 reduced to 4 slashing. Die, 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 die. Because that horse needs to die too. Because that horse needs to die too. Alright. Ignatius. Or Iggy in this All case. Right. Yup. So, well. Gonna be making some attack rolls on Fred. Excellent. We can kill him today. Should be a plus nine to hit these days. So does a 20 hit? Yes. Mm, I want it. Uh, 2d4 plus 3 bonus from Hexblade's Curse. Nine! Mark out which, what damage type is what. He's resistant to physical. Sorry, say again? He's resistant to physical, so mark what damage is what. Gotcha. Hexblade's Curse is not very cool. Year. I think it just adds to whatever the. Gotcha, so it's all physical then. Yep. Alright, 16. Physical reduced to 8. Oh! Can we talk about this? We're gonna need to kill the horse. Then we can fight. We kill the horse first. Extreme prejudice. <laughs> I regret to inform you that it is your turn to die. No. Sing a song first. No. Oh. Anything else? Okay. Uh, attack numero dos. And I got two of those. Well, three, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Wait. Did... did I spawn? Did I roll? No, I didn't. No. Keep it. Oh, okay. Okay, tw 26 to hit, yes. That is a solid hit. Right on. Again, 24 plus 9. That is... damage to 6. Uh, ah! <coughs> I was gonna sing a song. Like... Neato, I shall heal 13 hit points that I was not missing. <laughs> Very nice. Very mm -hmm. nice indeed. Anything else? Gotta love that curse. I'm going to fly 10 feet south, then 10 feet west, such that I am 5 feet south of that goblin slicer. Excellent. I should have flanking because of Spear Boy. Yes. Neato. That's such an obnoxious range. It is a very obnoxious I range. I didn't even notice he moved into my range. That's how obnoxious it is. Huh? Well, I guess it's a 10 foot range when it's not my turn, so he didn't move into my range. Okay, so Spath only has a plus 8 to oh, hit. Um, you're not playing. Right I'm sure. not? Uh, yeah. Polar Master's only 15 feet on your turn, is what JC's saying. Well, with Bugbear. They only have the extra five reach on their turn. Oh, okay. Then yeah, that that nine is not hitting anything, is it? That's a nat one. Yeah, that's a nat one. Confirm. Oh right, yeah. So so, I, so I do one. roll again. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't confirm. That's good. Let's start the fuck Someday. dice. <laughs> Someday we'll confirm that. Like okay. I confirmed a crit or a crit fail as Nightman. Anything else? Oh, did you? Nope. Yeah, yeah remember when actions. I hit the goblin that or the hob that was invisible? 
And I then immediately think... after that, I punched it, and then I, I confirmed it. Oh, you weren't? No. Oh. Oh, yeah, you weren't. Yeah, he punched himself in the nuts. Yeah. Nice! Punch. Swing a punch at the board, punch. That's the goblin miss. And miss. Second punch! Enjoy punching, so miss for the first one. The second one's also miss. Man, hope it's horrible. Alright, uh, Daniel. Okay, who is still alive? Well, there's an archer. You rolled a four slicer. dice for her, and the highest was a five. It feels bad right there, and one that's playing. Um, where are the where's the archer on the map? There you are. Uh, what cover does the archer have from Daniel? Um, partial. Okay, so. Two Eldritch Blasts going his way. Pretty good. That is a 21 and a 20. That'll hit and that'll hit. Oh, totally not gonna get shot right now! I'm totally safe! Uh, how far away is he from me? Pew noise is intense, though. Uh, they are... 95 feet. Okay, then he's getting knocked back 20. Pushing Does that knock him into the river? 15 force damage. Ow! Please tell me that knocks him into the river. No, I just do that. Ah. That hurt. That hurt my feelings more than anything else. Don't lie, you're injured. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. And I mean, it pushed him further into retreat. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, how far away is a little bit from me? A little bit is 65 feet away from me. Or er, they don't have elevation on the token. Let me go apply that real quick. Elevation above. They are 65 feet away from me. 65. Okay, Daniel, move forward five feet, and bonus action, use some of his healing light. Uh, two of them. Nice. Four HP restored to Little Bite. Good, good, good. Anything else? I'm never using those for in-combat healing ever again. Uh, he'll move back to where he was. Good, good. Probably can be good in a pinch. Minerva. Uh, Woo. Minerva's range from the slicer. Uh, Minerva is 125 feet away from the slicer. 125? Oh wait, you, you move them near, uh, behind the tree. Yeah. Uh, and you reduce their elevation from 100. Let's see here. They are... Oh, the slicer doesn't have an elevation either. What's that? I'd probably put their elevation the same as that cliffside. They are... Flip side since you do have an opportunity to double flop. There we go. You are 50 feet away. 50 feet? Okay. Uh, Minerva will fly from the tree to the. Uh, would she have full cover at the bottom of the rock face? Yeah, she's sitting on the ground. Yeah, she'll do that. And take the dodge action. Pretty good. Does not want any arrows going into her. She is all sorts of traumatized. John. Yes, sorry. Uh, so, uh, you know what? It's it's time to finally try to climb up. We're gonna try to climb that dam. You're gonna have to climb yeah. the entire time, by the way. Oh yeah. Well aware, but uh traveling. I'm not looking forward to having the to actually have the roll to climb something. Yeah. Cause uh yeah, so he's gonna try to move his uh thirty feet west. Climbing up the cliff, you're going around this way. 
Oh, there's go around capability. Uh, can you close the chat to see more than that? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's so much better, actually. Well, I think, probably. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, thirty down around. Cool. Yay. Options. And we're gonna try an Eldritch Blast. The one that uh Daniel already blasted. The archer? Yes. Oh. Uh, plus seven. Please hit, please hit. It'll be fun if it hits. Ha! Ha! That is a uh, solid shot. I'm not gonna get shot. I am invincible. So, he gets shot in, in an extra fun way. Because, uh... John basically... Someone's what looks like a jerry-rigged harpoon gun. He's getting pulled ten feet. Oh, no. And is taking... Two damage! Oh. Do, you Do you not, not have, have agonizing, agonizing blast? blast? It was like, you're getting kind of agonizing blast? Okay. Well, I fucked up my phone app thing. So it's either... I, I've been having trouble keeping track of all of my things. So I have the grasp, I have the, the extra attack, and I have the stronger... Uh, uh, summon weapon. I have the... So you should I have, have three indications. If you I have, have one more, yeah. okay, then yes, yes, I would have that then. So more deaths. Yes. So that is. Yeah. Well, um, let's have four indications four. at level seven. So that is six damage in total. Oh, I mean, As he gets, so much pain. does he get hard? Does he gets yanked back yep. ten feet yanked, towards me? He's yanked ten feet towards you. Do it again. Oh. But I can only double attack with my hex weapon. Well, you can double uh, attack with your class. It's a cantrip. It it scales. Yeah, oh, it, it has scales. Two so at level yeah. so at level five, you can make two attacks with Eldritch Blast. I'm learning things today, people. The other cantrips just give you two damage dice, but Eldritch Blast keeps the one damage dice. It's a twelve hit. A twelve does not. Okay. Well, you know the. <laughs> Uh, and you know what? We're going to uh, roll uh, intimidation again on the one who got pulled with a fucking harpoon. Excellent. Sixteen. Sixteen. Right? Well, mm -hmm. I'm scared. Yeah, no. <laughs> nah, come on back. Nope, not no. Go away. Do we have it? It's not even good to have it. It's like look at it. It's <laughs> You know, it's pink because it's human skin. Yeah, but shouldn't it be green? No! He just keeps on reeling in the harpoon. It's another 10 feet in the Well, no, 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 no. Just character wise, okay. just. Alright. In the air. Okay. So is the guy at the top still alive? Yeah, he's alive. Okay. So we're gonna come down. You don't even have to move. About <laughs> ten feet south of Arnor. Ten six feet south of what? Ten feet you... south of Armila, and then you can hit um... him from right where you're standing. Oh, I won't. Okay, as long as I don't have to move, then we're fine. I just thought I'd be in the way of hitting my friend, but or the other person. It's a halfling. Just the halfling and you are very, very tall. That is true. I am seven foot eleven. <laughs> okay. We have a tall party member finally, who can lift the same amount of weight as Obi. Huzzah! Huzzah! We can reach the top shelf. shelf. I did not approve of this. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna stop down at the goblin. Excellent. Ten 
him to hit. Are you serious? I will miss. <laughs> no. I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll do it again. Add one. 17 to hit. Okay. And then it'll be 2d6 plus 6. Nine points. Roll those ones and twos. Do you have a great left fighter? Oh, yes, I do. Gotta re roll those ones and twos. I gotta re roll both of them. Okay, so, okay, so that would be 8 plus 6, 14. so 14. I'm not gonna die here as I get skewered by Yari and the. <laughs> I yeah, exactly what we need to do. Okay. And then we're gonna run down and pursue the others. Good. You have the goblin's body still stuck on your spear. I don't care. What's the um, what speed do you have? I got 30. 30. Alright, so that is your move. Okay. Oh no, it's chasing us! Yes. Good. Pants? That'll be it. It'll bite. Scared. He's running. But now he's running the other way. Yeah, he can't go towards you. He can't go towards uh, John's. He's heading <laughs> south. <laughs> All right. Warrior, he's just scared of everybody. Nope. He is booking it off map. <laughs> John. John. He will try. As the clown flies after him. And um, can I see uh the goblin that's next to the little bite? Yeah. It's partial cover, but yes. Uh can I move to a place where he would not have cover? I have twenty five feet of movement. Oh I can I okay. So I'm going to shoot. Misfire. I'm gonna use my reaction to try and cancel. Very good. <laughs> I cancel the misfire. Didn't you oh, do the exact same thing oh, last time? I yeah. did. I did that last time, and then I a one and a twenty. <laughs> yeah, and I will shoot him. I will shoot at him again. The obus never uh, true misfires. With uh, got to have my modifier. Sixteen. Sixteen will hit. Dope. Obis never truly misses. Nine damage. Ah. Oh, oh. Slain by the bolt piercing through his heart. Ah, ah. And then I will spend all of my movement moving up behind John. Good. Dummy little non legs. Anything else? One shot. Uh, nope. All right, you and guys then, let the one that please leave, or you're gonna hunt it down. Mac okay. is going to, or it's Mac's turn, and Mac is going to use all of his 40 feet of movement and dash after the goblin that's running away. I'd answer that question. We don't think kindly of them green skin folk. <laughs> We're gonna, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I mean, we know where it's going. To the precise point find the goblin camps, because I can do that. It's hard. Yeah, I don't want to take down a goblin camp. We're already going into a cave, which is probably the goblin camp. And we don't. This one sending word back that hey, there are people with boomsticks. 
Was my question heard, DM? Huh? Did my horse take damage earlier? I wasn't sure on that. No. I wanted to no? attack, but I never got the chance. Okay, that's nice. In that case, I'm also booking it after. Um, a full 120. <laughs> oh, wait, did we did we decide to let him go? Is that no. what just happened? No. no. Okay, so we're hunting him down and gonna kill him, right? right? Yeah, next one. Yep. Okay. Oh, um, whack. I'd like to make it so that I move in a straight line towards him at some point. It looks like that's already happening. Um, so Doric's gonna make an attack first because he's a goblin and he needs to be attacked by. A... <laughs> <laughs> Them that's a twenty-three to hit. It's gonna be it, folks. Death. Give me a strength save, DC 14, to be not knocked prone. He is not knocked prone. Alright. In that case, just a flat 6 bludgeoning damage. Oh, Minimum. You heard us! Go away! That horse. Not yet, little friend! I'll eat you! Ar Armilla rears back with her ass. Critical. 26, that's a nat 20. <laughs> Please double confirm. It's an 18 to confirm. <laughs> Can I just, how do I want to do this? Because my minimum damage is, let's see. Well, that's an 11. How do you want to do this? Okay. Very nice. Okay, after uh, Doric stomps him, just as the goblin is recovering, Armilla is rearing back for a wide helicopter swing. And then <laughs> lops forward at the goblin, aiming for uh, the neck, but actually going a little bit high and cleaving straight through the skull, <laughs> cleanly in half, making a lovely mess in, in the front of the horse. And then the intellect of Bower falls out. Very good. And with that, combat is over. I got him, lads. He didn't put up much of a. Fa good on ya. Wonderful. I'll come um, trotting back. Who's the bugbear? Yeah, um, actually, wait, hold on. Are we actually done? That's <laughs> determined by this conversation you're about to have. That one... <laughs> she'll point As to, far uh, as I know, bugbears are buddy-buddy with goblins. So point. I'm slaying it, right? Why do you uh, think I killed it? An elaborate ruse. Which I've are... now seen through. <laughs> <laughs> I came charging down the mountain because I wanted to save the Earth Lady. Very elaborate ruse. <laughs> Why would I stab him through the eye with a giant spear? As I said. He could have attacked me earlier. Eggy, I think you're being a bit cynical. You are talking to a jester. If you did not notice, I am a Pulmar master. As soon as that horse came in my reach, I could have stopped it dead in its tracks. I just, I just like to clarify, I am not a cylinder. <laughs> what? I... The... What? <sighs> Doesn't Eleven recognize that he means that he has the same skills as I do, Sage? When he uses the words polearm master, because I mean he's taking it straight out of the fucking meta book, so. <laughs> sure. All right. No comment. <laughs> what, what tribe are you from, Bugbear? I forgot the name. I was not there for very long. I was stolen by some slavers, human ones. They took me, forced me to kill my kin. But you fight to save a human. Because... Sounds like they have a grudge against humans to me! <laughs> Ignatius, <laughs> stop being daft. Hey, let's not be hasty. Give him a chance. Don't call me daft. I'm very... Sharp. You don't take away people's freedom. That person was enslaved. Same thing could have happened to Eggy, them. sometimes you can be duller than the pommel of your swords. And I mean... To be fair, I'd rather not have to fight a bugbear right now. Alright, I officially hate this. I'm going to bed. So I'm gonna speak... It's early morning! <laughs> I'm gonna speak telepathically to Iggy's mind. I'm just gonna say, I am your friend. That's creepy as shit. 
Okay. okay. What? What was that? No, no, no. Ah, I refuse. No. Not okay. I need an adult. But I'm also, you know, like, the side of child, so. You are surrounded by adults, Iggy. What do you need? I should have this woman free and heal her. She's, you know. Agree? Oh, yeah. He's just a hog tied on the ground. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, here, let me take a look at her. The bugbear whispered in my brain. I will not stand for this. Wait. What? I. It whispered in my. Uh, twenty-eight brain. medicine on the. Um, I think you need to sheath yourself. Right, uh, the woman ah, is fine. injured, but she is not <laughs> dying or anything like that. She just has, seems to have a head wound from being knocked out. Renee will expend her healing hands to heal her for 6 HP. I think that's my new favorite thing I've said to Iggy. <laughs> where, where, where am I? Where are the goblins? Ah! Dead. 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 She's surrounded by two of them. Are you feeling okay? You look like you hit your head. No, I was attacked by goblins. With me and my husband. Where, where is Max? As you want to shit. <laughs> what? What? Dead? Dead? I said who? Max Stroud. Was he with you? Yeah, we, we were traveling. Um, well, he isn't now. Well, yeah, uh, you're the only one we found, and a ton of goblins, and I guess a bugbear. Where are we? Okay. Uh, a forest passed. We're in the mountains near Elder's Crest, sort of. That's Ish. east of where I was. Well. That's actually that far see. east. South. Where? Look at all the way over here. Where are you from, miss? Grab the world map, so grab that name. Not from the top of my head. Do, 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 do. Don't know why John's asking. He doesn't know the area that well. Uh, while that's happening. Warbledon. Warbledon. Does that mean anything to any of you guys? No. I have never been that far west. Okay. No. Well, you're alive. That's a start. Um, and huh. now we know Warbledon's being attacked by goblins at the very least. Maybe. We had no goblins when I left. I was traveling south to deliver some supplies. And then we got attacked on the road by some bandits and was held captive for a couple of days. We managed to break free after uh, a ranger broke us out. And then uh, and we were resting, making camp in the woods. I don't really remember much after that, uh, except for being dark and hearing screeching. Well, I feel it might be safe to assume that you were then attacked by goblins in the forest. Yeah? Yeah, a little, little, little apparent right there. I feel like that's a safe assumption. Uh, yeah, we found them carrying you. We killed them all. They're exceptionally dead. You are cutting through for bonds. It is decently enjoyable when they run. Uh, yeah. Daniel will. She will stand, brush off her, at this point, torn and tattered, uh, I wouldn't say noble attire, but definitely wealthy. Uh, well, I appreciate the help, uh, um, Elizabeth Stroud, so I'll give you her hand. He'll take it and shake it. Daniel, Colzion, pleasure. This here's my sister, Ren. Wait, what was your last name? Stroud. No, no, sorry, Daniel. Oh. I, got, I got yours. Your, yours was easy. No Colzion? Okay. So, like, coal, as in the rock thing. Zium, as in, um, I, I don't think Zium's a thing. Never mind. Sorry, what was the uh, what was the woman's first name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth Stroud. Yep. Stroud, Stroud, Stroud. She's from Barovia. 
You haven't made any unholy deals with Orcus, have you? No, I'm just kidding. Unholy. <laughs> well. What are you going to do now? Yes, please. I appreciate that. As we might offer to fix your clothing, I have what you're doing. Well, um... I need to get back home and figure out what's going on and what happened to my husband. Don't suppose you guys are going west? We are. We are, actually. Well, we will be going through a cave full of goblins. We're going under the mountain. Yes. It's better than going eastward alone. If you guys can get me home, I'm sure that my, my father could pay you handsomely. Yay! Escort quest! <laughs> Any protests? Uh, you want paid in mushrooms? I don't so, see so. one. The little bite said how many mushrooms. They didn't say a lot of them. So, you know, they need to lean in to get the extra. Hard! So, maybe you're here. You're all the way over there. I'm saying over here and look at the screen. That screen. The screen. That's good. Alright, you begin working swiftly and expertly as the tatters and the clothes are um, restored. You need more material um, than what you have, but you do fix it with holes, so it's just not like. I uh, actually have a spell that can fix that little bite. Yeah, let, let him have his moment. <laughs> Hey, you know, blanket cloak that has been repaired and like patched up many times. Okay. Imagine can do a lot, but yeah. there's something to be said, you know, about a physical touch to it. <laughs> Daniel will cast press digitation as he pats his poncho. <laughs> well. Gonna brush yourself off once more. Just out of habit, I'm assuming, of it. Don't suppose anyone has any food? I don't think they gave me any while I was out. I don't remember what day, what day is it. What day is it? It is the yeah. 30th of Frostfall. Uh, of Rova. Which is. Uh, 30th, I think. I don't. Hopefully, no. I have uh, got some dwarven tack, a bit of deer jerky, and goat cheese, if you like uh, to share. Food wise, I do have beans. <laughs> uh, I, I appreciate the offer. If you uh, take that on the offer. Uh, she'll give her. Um, cool. Let's see, how many days' journey do we think we're going to be going? Well, if we're on the uh, eastern side of the mountains, I want to. I look around the eastern side of the mountain, uh, let's see. If we're a swift, swift. A couple days, a week at most, maybe. If we're lounging about, though, it could be longer. Okay, well. Alright, uh, well, I can spend uh, at least five days worth. Perhaps some others could pitch in as well. They were fine. I've packed at least ten. I actually forgot to restock on rations at the last town. I'm gonna have to be a little stingy with mine. Sorry. Well, maybe we can ask a cave keeper. She is quite friendly. I'm sure there's also some decent hunting around. Conies and the like. Aye, plenty of good hunt here. It's wedding season. Why wouldn't? Armilla does give uh, five why days worth of rations. I mean, yeah. there. Don't the wyverns are on top of the mountain. We're going underneath it. Okay, I thought, I thought the plan was we would uh, go over the mountain on the way back to hit up the wyverns. We know your plan. I just kind of showed up. As, as long as we get back safely, I, I, I how we get back. 
Um, is anyone injured? Because Renee will patch you up with her med kit. Very sure, just little bite is injured. Right, it's rain here, miss. Also, has anyone given the ranger a weapon yet? Uh, little bite gave her a dog slicer. All right. And she's going to be looting this goblin for a short bow. I do my first. All of mine are, aren't are overly physical. <laughs> 17 HP restored a little bite as Renea bandages him up. Well, that was fun. Are we ready to keep going, I guess? Sure. Um, just kind of ripping at the armor off this. I'm doing it. It's a bit of cleaning, but uh, should be ready for combat now instead of having to punch things. I can clean that for you, and Daniel cast Prestidigitation. You really like that spell. Thanks. Um... <laughs> Daniel. Should give it a bit of a wash after, but uh, should get rid of all the blood stains, yeah? It's a spell of many uses, my friend. All right. Marshall, check on um, Elizabeth. Uh, I rolled a 15. I want to see if she can use a hand axe decently. Uh, she is effectively little more than a commoner. She, she's not level one, she's level two, but uh, she's not trained in anything but daggers. Just because that's like the noble weapon is a dagger is a self weapon. Alright, I'll give her my no dagger. Problem. It's dangerous out there. You might need to protect yourself. Right, uh, to go on this. You're welcome. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Does uh, Mac have a side of bag on him? No. I'm just gonna look at the party. There's a... It's a bugbear. Jeez, I'm a bugbear. Right, well, so, to leaving parties, now, so. guys. Yes, yeah. Uh, it's it's fine. It's fine. I mean... Yeah, again, I'm really not feeling like fighting a seven-foot-tall wall of meat. Uh, 18 strength. Yeah, 18 strength, double carry capacity. Little mouse is going to go walk up to the bugbear. Slowly turn into a smaller mouse and go climb into his bag. To a smaller mouse. <laughs> Okay. I'm, I'm assuming that was him climbing into a pocket. I would assume. Honestly, well, from what you said from your backstory, I think Infier would be like, hey, this is cool. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, and Little Bite has imprinted on the bugbear. I guess it's just what we're doing now. Okay. Well. But <laughs> I enjoy the animal. You're, you are carrying mouse friend. <laughs> well, if you are going to be sticking around with the us mouse for a minute, we chose you. Okay, the mouse is going to go climb on your shoulder, and they're going to feel tall, and they're going to love it. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> oh my John... gosh, it's Nariken Obi 2.0. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Well, uh, John will just shrug. Tip so, uh, Well. Uh, I'm John. Armella Forjagar. Hangle McKangleberry. Squeak, squeak. I am in fear. I'm Daniel, and uh, this is Ren. Rene is like hiding behind Daniel at this point. I'm Ignatius. Ignatius Judge. Back to Ignatius, not Iggy. Uh, yeah, we, we, we sheathed the sword earlier. But if we're going by last name, my clan name was Boom School. Yeah, no, first names are fine. Yeah, no, no, I... Maxi. I don't have a last name. Honestly, I have to recommend that way of doing things. Judge is really pretentious. <laughs> well, <laughs> Gotta say. I have last name for nobility or those of uh, prominence in their yeah. homeland. I gotta say, it must be a terrible thing, uh, 
living in fear. Well, why would you say that? <laughs> Miss. <laughs> Miss. Am I going to have to shoot you? Is that a threat there? No. Leave. Please leave. I was the asking humor. the beheaded man, not you, sir. Please leave the humor to those with a higher uh, charisma. <laughs> I challenge yours. Your uh, little gunslinger facade doesn't strike me as too original. I mean, we immediately met another one of yours. No offense, Hingle. We're all the friends. I mean, what do you mean? You know, I always thought that was kind of weird. We just oh. happened to show up at those waystones with Hingle at the moment John stepped through. You guys not aren't like conspiring to murder us or anything, right? Of course not. I came here looking for work and to maybe, you know, get out of goddamn Aether Storm. It gives How do you like pain. Aether Storm? It's a nice place. It's also full of people who have guns. That sounds dangerous. Yes. Yeah, I left Aether Storm after I lost my arm. So, I came here looking for work, and it just so happened I take two steps out of that damned stone, and I found work. 17 insight for Manea on your story. That's that's absolutely why he's here. Hard to read. Hard to read. Hard to read. The greater good. Well, that works for me. Oh, um, friends, can I interrupt for a second? Yes. Kratos, summon us! Kratos, summon us! Summon us! Kratos, summon us! That was amazing. God. Digital Kratos, summon us. Slightly off key, but it worked. It's fine. If I pretend I know the in jokes, one day I will be in on it. <laughs> That's what I'm doing! <laughs> All right. right okay. okay. Now are we good to Does continue the party watching? Wish to move on? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Go. Go. I'm a uh... Daniel will offer his spot on the horse to the noble woman whose name I can't remember because I'm bad at names. Elizabeth. Yeah. I'm gonna dip for like ten seconds and get water. And I guess him and Renea will both be walking because Renea ain't leaving his side. Gotcha. Armella will. That the walkers stay near her so that she can fend off any attackers. Also, so you get my aura bonuses. Well, I mean, if both of you are hopping off that horse. Uh, there is John. an open spot. Do you want to ride with a noble woman? Daniel would, except, well, Renea, and she's married, so. Uh, John, the, the, uh, you know, dirty cowboy proceeds to ride with the noble woman. Do keep in mind that if we get into a chase, you might have a hard time hanging onto a horse and firing a weapon. Yeah, you know, that's why I'll just switch to good old, good old Eldritch Blast. With it the, is I. I have returned. Hand. Back. Hmm. All right. This party begin making their way, following along the river. Uh, by the way, that is Wolverine. That's Sonata. That's Wolverine. Whew! Cool. You guys are down. Huh. Well, she's a long way from home. Yep. All right. She is a thorough way. How the hell did she get here? They might have used, like, one of the waystones or a menhir stone, honestly. A way shrine, I mean, or a menhir stone. They're heading the wrong way for that, though. The nearest menhir stone is, like, that we south know. of that town. Are you guys going at a slow, medium, or fast pace? I think let's continue medium. Yeah, medium. Medium I mean, sounds fair. We have like two people on foot now. I'm assuming a wyvern encounter would be considered bad. Yes. 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 Wait, I thought we needed those. Oh, well, uh, hmm. well, we have like uh, an unarmed civilian with us. Yeah, yeah they have a dagger. But we have a, a... Okay, a lightly armed civilian. Hey, they're not level one. <laughs> they have level two. I'm pretty sure if their damage output with a dagger is same as Renea's with a dagger, she might as well be unarmed. So we're all 
Mm-hmm. It would be ideal if we confronted the wyverns without people that we were trying to escort to safety. Okay, so apparently we consider a wyvern as bad. Yes. Right now, yes. Well, right now. I respectfully disagree, but I appear to be in the minority vote. On the way back, it would absolutely be a good encounter. Yes. So, Little Bai is adding a destiny to encourage encounters. That free slave destiny. Adjustment to that, that's definitely a counter. Are you wanting a wyvern? Are you wanting wyverns? What is it? Dragons? <laughs> what in oblivion is that? My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperial. Can you say the same? I didn't roll high enough for it to be Before again. we send your soul to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines. <laughs> oh, for the love of oh, Talos, shut, shut up and let's get this over. Get... All right. All right. Captain, continue she's not on the list. Uh, moving up the Mountain River Road it's trail. Go copy your tokens. It took you guys four hours to do so, Sight roughly what time would it be? Fall? Oh, that's just my question. As the sun starts to set, uh, anyone near Renee is noticing that she's starting to, like, hyperventilate and panic. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Uh, it'll be okay, Ren. It'll be okay. We'll be fine. Uh, we'd be next to Armilla. See, the edge of the mountains, where the great waterfall spills out, and into the river flowing down, and into the valley. The smaller waterfall here enters into a pool, and it flows into the river itself. Maxie will jump off, uh, Mac, and let's get up. The cave is just, uh, behind the bigger waterfall. You mentioned a guardian here? Well, this I, is a tranquil uh, little spot. Kishara. She's a, uh, elf. A swift elf. Where is she at? She calls the cave home. At least the, the first cave, uh. The cave has a secret passage in the back through her bedroom that leads into the goblin tunnels. You know who else had a secret passage to her bedroom? My ex-wife. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> John pats his shoulder. Seems your uh, ex-wife traveled a lot then. I did. She did. Certainly seems like she couldn't stay in one. Sorry. Uh, should be too hard for us to get across. Anyways, I would like to lead. Um, uh, behind me, that is. Do it one at a time, and the horses, they're not going to be able to fit in there, so. I guess I'll go next. Why not? I'll go after Iggy. Ignatius, don't confuse uh, me. Sorry, Ignatius. You have so many personalities, it's hard to keep track. It's literally two. <laughs> it, it, it is a literally t- uh, Yeah, I'll follow up with Hangle. Roll me perception checks, everyone. Oh, goody. Ba, 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 21 for ba, me. Ba, ba. That's a 23 with a nat 20. 23 for Mac. Jesus, my god. <laughs> oh, wow. Seven. 23 for Renea. Or wait, no, that's Daniel, so 25. 21 that's for Renea. And 10 for the bard. Sometimes you get the bard. Those who the bard. notice uh, a perception of 20 or higher notice oh my god. something glittering within the water about the edge of it here. Something shiny and opaque. My precious. Hey. Uh, she'll point her axe. Exactly. Y'all see that, Dad? I see it clear as day. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What? What? 
that dark glitter I spot there. Hey, there's something in the water. Do you need... Uh, can I uh, roll perception again, like trying to look... Yeah, roll with advantage closer. since you had your companions pointed out. Are any of us strong swimmers? Hold on, there might not Back be Back here doesn't that. need to breathe. Uh, 13 plus 4. 17. So. That's still not above 20, so I guess not. Uh, Mac here doesn't need to breathe. He could go get it. I don't see. He, he should sure. be heavy enough to sink too, right? Uh, he's strong. That means the water won't really push him around. Eh, I don't know. Alright, hey. Hey, sure. Can you say there's something there? I'll put trust in you. Yeah, Max's yeah. gonna move forward. Right, have them give me an investigation check. Oh, fuck. Uh. <laughs> Can't you help Mac? Would I be able to help Mac? Within five feet. If you're next to him, yeah. I uh, cast guidance on Mac. Because that's a good while idea. You can see the glitter. You don't know exactly where it is in the river. It's Especially open. with light refraction. Yeah. And also, All right, so Max investigation so with guidance is an eleven. Thazamar blood. <laughs> Looking around, Mac picks up something solid, and drops it at your feet. It's a normal stone. Good boy, Mac. What is it? It's a normal stone. It's a rock. It seems to have like, oh. little, little, uh, blue speckles in it. Though. That's pretty cool. Uh, can I still see the thing in the water? You can still see it. Yes. You can still see the ah. gleam glittering from the sun. Right? The that wasn't that. Okay. Um. Anyone what, feel what like going it? Found. Way is this way? Hang on. We saw a shiny thing in the water. That means. We have to get it. Give us a minute. Skitter off. Maxi. Melancholy bark. Uh, how deep is the water here? It's not yeah, and how fast deep, is it? But it is going fast. It is pretty, oh. pretty freaking fast. It's rough water. It's rough. I will cast actual. Wait, I have an idea. May change. Yeah. Right, I, uh, what you got, John? Investigation check. Okay. Investigation. And since you did not see it, disadvantage. Yeah. Hey, uh, wait, uh, Daniel, you know that, um, mold earthing thing you do? Yeah. Could you, like, I don't know, 16. elevate the ground under the shiny thing to, like, lift it out of the water? As you're saying this, the Mei Chan floats up, something glittering and transparent. Diamond. Got it. No, oh, okay, Diamond. never mind. My God. Maybe it can be useful next time, Daniel. It is very Diamond small. in the rough. Pretty freaking tiny, in fact. It is uh, 0.5 carats. But you do now have a diamond. Uh, how much of a diamond? It's 0.5 carats. Resurrections and the like are based upon carat size, not value, because value fluctuates with the market. So how much do you need for a Revivify? 0.5 carats. 5 carats. 5 carats. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Well, we have still the diamond. I think I might be able to use that. You can? I mean, uh, uh, it's yeah, I mean, my patron's uh, celestial, so I should be able to bring people who have recently died back to life, but I'd need a diamond for that. Right, Ren? That's a neat trick. Yeah, that's how the spell would work. You'd need a diamond. Do you know the spell? Currently, no. But tomorrow, yes. What? Uh, what? Uh, okay. Well then. Hey. You hey. can learn spells overnight? Uh, switch them out. One of the spells I know disappears from the pages and is replaced by a new one. Oh. You have a uh. very... Very interesting book there, boy. Okay, well, 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 I am uh, hired by you, so this is yours. 
as the hand kind of floats over and hands it to you. Seems right. fast. Daniel will put the diamond away safely. And I guess I will sadly never use Hunger of Hadar. Never. Unless we get attacked sometime before the next long rest finishes. <coughs> Shall we press on one then? Well. Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, considering the fact that Hadar is an elder evil from the far realm. Well, I was going to flavor it as a... Character. <laughs> I was going to flavor it as Daniel tapping into Ray- Renea's trauma and manifesting it as a physical oh, force. Damn. Okay. I like that. Wow. Doesn't sound like very useful therapy, but you know what? Sure. As long as she's 30 feet away from it, she can't hear all the screams coming from inside. <laughs> <laughs> as long as she's 30 feet away, <laughs> she can't hear the screams. Just Calvin screaming loudly. God. Her screaming, Obi screaming, yeah, pretty much everyone. <laughs> Obi just screaming in giant. His uh, last words of friends run in giant. Maxie will make her way along the passageway, oh. pointing out to the party. She enters the cave. I'm gonna get back on Mac and follow. I'm gonna fall behind Hingle. I'll be right behind Hingle as well. Uh, on the door. Day. We'll be next to Armila. Um, I think Enfier is currently AFK, so I imagine he'll no, be I'm back. back. Oh, I'm fine. Forever. Moving into the cave, as the party begins following along her path, which she's pointed out, so there's no check required, you guys would begin to smell something that's quite tasty. Some kind of stew is boiling within the center of this uh, main chamber of this cave. Man, am I glad I did not lose my sense of smell. That was on the table? He, uh, waves the... mage hand. Anything's on the table if you take enough risks. Alright, and, uh, what's, what's, uh, no, Amela's just... plan for a door? Uh, can Dork get through if I cast Fly on him? If they want to fly through a crashing uh, wave of water. Hmm. We were told that the elf will watch over the horses. I did a call that. Dork can just be resummoned on the other side. None of us know that, though. Except Armila. Well, Unfortunately, so. I didn't bring my shrink ray with me, so... Do I have a shrink ray? Well, not right now. Don't... Why... <laughs> why are you still surprised at the things we have? Because! They're incredible! Why, thank Don't you. Worry. I take pride in my work. Ta- I take pride in my work, too. He summons back the super jerry-rigged harpoon gun. It's not as fancy, but it works. Okay. Yes. I'm just the water. player version doesn't have the waterfall visible. Hmm. Here you are. It's much more sense. Why I was like, there's a camera there. But it's not so oh, yeah, no, it was, uh... <laughs> yeah. It was kind of obvious beforehand. Oh, yeah, that's okay. No, no, the, it was Ooh. supposed to be obscured. In case you don't well. have a guide. Hmm. <laughs> I just that looked over a... at the TV where I'm putting the, the, the player view. I'm like, huh. That would have been a little awkward. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I wonder if it's a cave behind the waterfall. Well, we have a map. That's we did. Yeah. But it, 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 if we didn't have two sources telling us as such. Anyways, you guys enter into the cave, smelling the delicious smell of some form of stew up ahead as Max leads the way in. And the call out. Not too quiet of a voice. Let's see here. Uh, Keisha! Keisha, I bought friends! Inside is something. Is she leading us to our doom? <laughs> She's leading us to our doom. Uh, what's my insight? Not great. Meanwhile, the siblings will press to digitate everyone to dryness. You'll hear sound of footsteps approaching from the western tunnel. 
they're light and seemingly well placed. They're not like some lumbering figure or anything like that. It seems to be something that shakes their footsteps with a lot of care and precision. Around in the corner, you would see an elven woman, green of skin and orange of hair. Oh, it's good to see you again, Maxi. You brought friends, as you said. Uh, please, please come in. Uh, uh, there should be enough stuff for everyone. Well, oh, there you go. John will uh, take off his hat out of uh, respect for being in someone else's home. King Gold What's his hair like? Uh, greasy. <laughs> you never use press digitation to clean your own hair? Seriously, I think he might be a junkie. <laughs> hey, but how would he shoot up? Can't Mel hit the same vein? Yeah, he has mage hand. Uh, well, yeah, friend, thanks. Uh, uh, Maxi? I, I mean, I meant Daniel's well, prestigitation. Um, they agreed to help out, so. That's fair, that's fair. But please come in. You don't need to wait by the, the entryway. It's quite you know, cold and wet over there. We all move forward, right? Yeah. We all move forward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Need some uh, food. Oh. I, can, I can whip you up some bowls. Uh, see about some stew for you. Um, sweet, sweet. Hey, that'd be lovely, miss. That, that would be uh, fantastic. 11 insight from Renea. She's hard to read. Uh, name's uh, Keisha Lorelai. Have we heard that before? Lorelai? <laughs> or am I hallucinating? Not <laughs> that I'm aware of. Well, out of character. There Lorelai was a is critical a... role one shot. Lorelai is also a river folk tale. So. Okay, I guess I'm just going crazy -er than I already was. I, I, I well, don't now! Really, uh, see things, so my apologies there, but uh, there should be some nice rocks here that uh, we'll get some... Um, excuse, I've had worse. Excuse you will, me, uh, I... Go up and take a seat. Right don't mean it. to be rude, but uh, we've dealt with changelings in the past, so would you mind if I cast Purify Food and Drink on the pot of stew? Um... Well, I'm going to be eating it too, so as long as I know what you're casting, cast. Purify food and drink. Just get rid of poison or disease. Uh, uh, what I'm saying is I need to be in the room. But they're, they're fine, uh, Keisha. I trust them. Um, I'll, all right, uh, go, go ahead. I'll, I'll be back with the bugs. Renea will cast Purify food and drink with her one spell slot. <laughs> Excellent. Purifying everything within five feet of the stew. But it turns out the poison was inside the bowls. <laughs> that would be clever. That would be a much more realistic way to do it, too. Just okay. having a like a bowl of poison soup on hand, ready to go whenever. Difficult. Poison in the bowls. Be doing it right now. You turn with a stack of bowls in either hand and would start uh, offering them to people. Yeah, yeah. Very kind yes. idea. I am a so tired of hard bowl, I thank you. A bunch of spoons, which you will offer to everyone as well. Thank you, miss. Thanks. Thanks much. Uh, she will Much appreciated. Of spoon of herself and she'll... I don't know how we, like, became an even more ragtag group, but, uh, yeah, we are again. It's funny how Renee is now the paranoid one in the party. It's apparent. fitting. It's fitting is what it is. As a little bite jumps off Maxie's shoulder and turns into a great mouse. Whoa! Um, <sighs> Daniel I mean, flinches back. I it in your party, one that is a rat bull. We have a lot of your people over here. Most of them are down south or uh, eastward. Yeah. yeah. There's a whole warrens of you out uh, down south and east. 
I didn't know there was more little bites. Oh, there's there... a rat folk or mouse folk, depending on the type. There's actually a few this enhanced isn't... folk down uh, in uh, Natan. Wait, really? Wow. This is a common thing. D does anyone want to, like, take a detour and meet some hamster folk? Not mm -hmm. in particular, no. What? Next I... character, hamster folk barbarian. See, the... <laughs> hamster folk <laughs> trap! They're a bit interesting, you'd have to really like sunflowers. So they make everything out of it. Sunflower, sunflower. sunflower oil, sunflower... Uh, Dough, bread. It's, like, How? it's not bad. It's just, it's just that it. sounds amazing. I, okay. Well, when the world isn't ending, I'm gonna go pl pay that place a visit. I'm personally not a fan of the smell of sunflowers, so uh, I I'm good personally. Your glass. So, uh, you've all had. Sunflowers have don't here. have a scent. <laughs> I was quite worried when she first came here. I mean, worried is a strong word, uh, concern. Um, yeah, worried, for example. Yes, um, the, the cave is behind my bed, I normally keep it there to, to, to lock off the entrance in case the goblins try to push through. Uh, you're welcome to pass through. Uh, Maxie here knows the way back. Tomorrow, to probably, yeah. Out, uh, John will go, uh, sit by the fire and get himself some stew. Armella do you have a hingle will do the same set up here? Uh, yes, my, my hell lab is out there on the side. I was, I was actually working on uh, a potion set there. That's why I'm out here uh, instead of back in my homeland. Studying the herbs here, they're much more appropriate than back home. Uh, the, yeah, mushrooms especially. Yeah, don't really have a lot of them down in my place. Uh, you know, being above ground and in the sunlight and all that. You need cyclist fungi. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Now, how good is this stew? I've got 60 intelligence. Uh, you say the word and you're saying sweet when you're sweet. Well, um, yeah, cyclist fungus are down. Cabins below, yeah. more in the deeper trenches, but you might find some up higher. They tend to grow uh, closer to the, the deep dark, though. Darrow Lake, because the Darrow harvest it. But I've, I've managed to find a few passageways to find some. Carefully. Now, with gloves, with preferably uh, thick leather ones, because it might be contact based. Depending on the type of different breeds and all that. Anyway, so make yourself a circle. I don't really have a lot of beds here, but uh, place some rocks, maybe place some space for you guys to set up some uh, yeah, bed rolls on your packs. I, I do have some gloves, yes. What? Do you have any potions that you're willing to give us or sell us? I have offered as such, yes. What ones do you have? Most of them are dealing with uh, healing or... I've, I've been trying to figure out a cure for a plague. So, uh, some anti-plagues and the like, a bit of poison resistance, things like that. Do you have any potions of poison resistance you'd be willing to part with? Hi. How many? I need to go check my stock. Uh, I use them for the vibrant. A glove circle. I can see if an extra pair. I only have my one, I think, so. Does she have extra pair of gloves? I is good. She has she has an extra pair of gloves. Okay. Now we gotta check the shelf. Okay. 
Oh, I did actually have an extra pair of gloves. They might be a little big on you, though. Too much. Definitely when you're small and mouse-like, but, uh... Mm. Uh, maxi size, they should fit, uh, elephants and all that. Um... That's part of the potions of poison resistance. I have two vials of those. And, uh, three vials of... Antitoxin. <coughs> We actually could use another couple vials of antitoxin, but uh, how much for the potions of poison resistance? Well, um, I don't really need coin. Left the city for a reason. But, uh, you do me a favor. You know, lend you one. Oh. Uh, I can help you with your potions. I'm an alchemist myself. Would that do? I, I am. Not needing, uh, well, if you, if you, how, how studied are you in, uh, plagues and the like? Um, she's got expertise in medicine, so how studied would Renea be in plagues and the like? Well, expertise in medicine would not, it's definitely helpful, but... What do you deal with? To be honest here, because now you've kind of uh, Probably mostly bodily injuries. So you're not too versed in it then? No. Like, you definitely would be better than someone who has just proficiency or no proficiency at all, but... Do you have, like, um, a lap? I mean, I know a bit about disease, but mostly I focused on a healing and more bodily injury okay. side of apothecary. Have, uh, otherwise, uh, I could use some new reagents. Um, since you're heading out west through the forest, there's some items out that way that I could use. I don't really travel through the goblin things. Uh, when I do, I normally just travel through swiftly and quietly. It's, it's quite dangerous over there that way. What do you need? Well, um, there are some specific flowers out westward. They grow in dried flow grows, and from what uh, Maxi told me, there is a corruption there. I I could use some samples of that. Maybe I can find a cure or a, a, a counter to it. So she wants corruption samples? She wants samples of the corruption and there's some flowers that grow in dry groves. They are, she described them as purple flowers that seem to have star-like tips ending in a nine-point flower, the center of which is bright yellow. The moon stars as a uh, my people call them. Uh, I think that, uh... Oh, sorry, that, that was the, uh, the common translation. Her people call them. Mm, we should be able to do that fairly easily. Something. We really do just keep on signing up to... That's what my people call them find ingredients, don't we? These ones are easy. Pick some flowers, take some sludge. We'll be walking past the sludge anyway, I'm sure. It is going to be harder than that, I imagine. Now, you say that, but it's also still goblin territory. The flowers are in the forest, past goblin territory. John just kind of shrugs and continues to have his stew. Um, you get back to start what I just wanted to do. Uh, Alright. Uh, with the 23, you know that the Lundra Kosa or Moonstar flowers 
are indeed relevant towards lichen groups. They are used as eating a cure. Their other properties are other diseases or curses, cures and such. It's, it's very uh restored flower. So how many of those flowers would you need for those potions of poison resistance? Uh first oh, she's gonna answer like bite. Bite. No answer that. Um lycanthropy, uh, curses in general, diseases, yes. Really? But uh I'd say about five to do it. And be careful not to destroy the plant itself. I don't want to ruin further growth. Um, so, slight problem with that. All the plants I touch, the living ones anyway, wither and die. She is immediately going to skirt back at that <laughs> and start chanting in druidic. Wait, that that's why your footprints are like that? Yeah, I was cursed by some dryads after they attacked us. Uh, I, why were I you attacked by dryads? About that, to be fair. Um, yeah. Why were you attacked by dryads? Step forward. Yeah, wait, hold on. So, you're you're cursed by dryads. Yeah. Did they tell you how to break this curse? No. All I know is I'm looking for a golden tree surrounded by thorns. Well, um... I can help you with that, but, uh... You might want to go another way through the caves. Uh, the main way that I'm actually going to... That leads right into a dryad's glen. So, so, yeah, no. Safe way, not safe. Safe way is the way that Maxi went. Not so safe way is through the Underdark. But the safe way also has dryads, which are not going to be happy about seeing somebody with a dryad's curse. Aye. Well, is it's there a gap in between the cave exit and the Dryad's Grove? Because I could fly Renea right over. Directly in front of the grove. Well, what if we stepped out of the cave, I cast Fly on Renee and myself, and we flew around their grove? You wish to try is that to possible? Avoid angling the Dryad, you are free to do so. Yeah. But you are going to be entering directly into the Dryad's Grove with this curse. Well, it's that or the Underdark. And I How know nothing of the Underdark. Angry would the Dryad be? Well, I can say that uh, it's enough that I was able to perform the proper rites before I had to burn you, so we're good there. Oh. Did she just uh, threaten to burn Renea to death? Yes, she did. Holy shit. Um, um, do you mind explaining to me why the fuck you would threaten my this my sister like that? But can we clarify why Renea was cursed in the first place? Can we also clarify what the hell is an Underdark? And that too. Here, so we're gonna call the session. Oh, fuck. <laughs> just all of us just here, just like, what the fuck drink soup is happening? Yep. It's a perfect, perfect pl uh, cliffhanger right here. We all Holy know, uh, fuck. Like the all right, Damn, that's go. intense. Yep. About no RP, though. Yep. Hope, uh, hope stream enjoyed it. We're gonna. What? That's right. You guys can always do, uh. uh but, uh. Yeah, we're gonna see you next time. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.